Thank you for joining us here on another exciting, poorly played stream. <laughs> We're getting near episode 500, Brian. Yeah, we, gotta, we are. We got to figure something out. Oh, yes. I have no idea. I'm at a loss. 
You know, I, I come in here and I do the show and... Uh, I am so fucking happy. Me I, too. I really do enjoy what I get to do and it's mm-hmm. very free form. Like when I formed the tweet to promote the show at yeah. noon, yeah. didn't even know what game we're playing. Oh. Bless you. Bless you. I didn't know that... Bless you. Not Bless even you. one. I didn't know two sneezes were coming today. You do a third one. I would never. That's stretching it, right? Oh, one? yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my dear friend, <laughs> What's up? Brian Abushaka. Well, Eric, my ta- favorite Eric, Eric taught me a very valuable lesson, all right? Yeah. No more than three sneezes. Or it's no more absurd. than two sneezes, all right? It's absurd. No more than two. There was one time his brother sneezed twice. He said, bless you, both times. And on the third one, Eric said, Kyle, stop it. Fuck you. Kyle yeah. said, I can't. I lived with Eric for several years, and I got yelled at a lot for sneezing a th- third time yeah. he says it's it's a it's and i agree with him it's excessive it's it not is. necessary it's an attention grab you know it's like someone coughing in a movie it is it's uh <sighs> don't do it and uh we won't have a problem we won't have a problem None. uh i don't have a problem because my game coach is back in action Yo. King lord brian yosh 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 uh it's a very informal way for us to greet each other. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, so <laughs> we are back in action. And last week, after the Nintendo Direct, I wanted to play a little Bowser's Fury. Yeah. Because that was like the last big first-party Nintendo game that I really enjoyed. Um, and, you know, I was I was psyched for Metroid Prime. I actually walked into a GameStop today. Just happened to be across. I saw the GameStop at the mall. And I was like, let me just poke my head in. Yeah. Hey, you guys got that uh, Metroid Prime physical for the Switch? Not yet. Nah, bro. We're supposed to get it, but now it's like the 20... I think he said like 20th, 23rd. I thought, was, I thought they said the 22nd. When 22nd, it, When 23rd. they announced it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Some of the websites were dodgy. Like, I think Best Buy was saying like, yeah, we got it in stock on the 17th. Oh, okay. Breaking street day. Well, it's not even today. I think it was like on the 12th or something. I don't know. Well... Uh, I heard rumors, so I just thought I'd poke my head in and ask. And then, you know what? It, it, it sucks, though. Then they're like, oh, you want to pre-order? I'm like, no. Fuck no. Get out of here. Uh, it looks good, though. Uh, we played it on Big Dogs on Monday. And, uh, man, that was it's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous remake, remaster. Apparently, this is the same engine that's going to run Metroid Prime 4. Very so, cool. Oh, very excited. So I'm very excited. Uh, speaking of new Nintendo games, yeah, the, the Direct was last week. We uh, we watched it on KLBR. Yes. Um, the Game Boy announcement was That's, maybe my favorite part, Game Boy Advance cool. announcement. Um, and then what else did they announce? I mean... For me, it was uh, Birdo finally coming to Mario Kart. <laughs> so, so, really? so, so, I love Birdo, dude. I lo- I'm a Birdo stan. I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm not like, uh, yeah. I'm not like, oh, wow, why Birdo? I'm just surprised specifically... You're a Birdo fan. Yeah, yeah. Over, uh, you know, I love in a Mario game when you can be an obscure character. Yeah, so, me like, too. give me dry bones. Give yeah. Me, but, but my camera my, guy. My absolute favorite. Oh, Licky 2 camera yeah. guy? Yeah. But my absolute favorite was always the weird Super Mario Bros. 2 stuff. So, Birdo was like. Every time I played Mario Tennis, like, okay, I'm throwing her in. Yeah, I uh, love Birdo. I was pissed you couldn't play as Mario in Mario Golf. Uh, the, Birdo's in at, at the clubhouse. She's part of the, like, you know, single-player story. Yeah. But it wasn't, like, a playable character at launch, so I'm hoping they had her in there, too. But Yeah. Yeah, gotta shoot them eggs, dude. I love it. I, I love I love characters. I, again, I'm, I'm the same way. Like, my favorite characters in Sonic are, the, are those characters that half the people don't know about. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, like, people don't remember half of <laughs> the ancillary characters in the any more of obscure, these games. The more yeah, uh, the better for me. Yeah. I want to I wanna play as, like, an enemy from one game that no one fucking right. likes. Um, now, uh, I was also interested, yeah, uh, in the Zelda. I thought it was news to me that that dated uh, sequel for Zelda was here. Oh, really? I, I guess it had already been dated. What the yes. fuck? Yes. We're in a subway? Whoa. Bruh. Okay, so let me just catch everyone up. Like, I got Bayo 3 when it came out. Um, yeah. I played maybe, like, ten minutes of the first two levels or something. First level. I, I put maybe a half hour into it. Got it. And then basically got through all the tutorial stuff, and here we are. Okay. So um, it's really, like, soon, right at the beginning. And the only thing story-wise that's interesting 
is like they're doing the fucking multiverse thing that everything is doing right now. Uh huh. It's um. Well, I mean, they, yeah. It's like everything, everywhere, all at once. It's like Marvel's cinematic universe. It's there's a multiverse. I think like uh, someone from the Alpha Verse, which is the enemy here, is claiming to uh, be the one true universe, and he's gonna like tear up all the other ones. Okay. So it's like Bayonetta. And then this, like, teen version of, like, a Bayonetta, who honestly looks as close to Dante from The Devil May Cry that no one likes except for us. Yeah. The teenage Devil May Cry Dante. Oh, okay. It's like a chick version of him. She's got, like, the short white haircut, oh. and uh, she's, uh, she's Hell yeah. snarky. So we're going through time or something to stop something. I don't know. We're all Umbra witches. That's all you need to know. That's <laughs> yeah. all I ever care about in these games, I guess. But there's a multiverse, there's other bayonettas or something. Avocadabra! Oh no, that's the one from the game we're, we're not playing. Oh, I'm playing that game. Yeah, so is Trish. Hogwarts Legacy? Fucking rules. Oh, jump down the fucking skyscraper, Godzilla. This is uh, this is cool. This looks exactly like what Bayonetta was. Are you controlling the dragon? Or Definitely. Are you controlling... Okay. I am uh, I am like basically like snowboarding and jumping and oh. shooting projectiles. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Received a beta whip. Bewitchment? Mm. Oh. Destroy three something or others. I didn't see that. It, ga it gives you a lot of replayability, I feel like, this game. Because so much of the level is going at, you know, this kind of speed sometimes. Right. And there's all these little objectives, like that thing that just popped up that you can do. Um, to kind of build out your skill tree and shit. Stuff I'm, like, not doing at all. Monster what fight. What the fuck? So much of this game already has been, like, monster fights, dude. Tail sweep. Whoa. Give me that tail sweep. That's cool. Sweep. Yeah. I'm I'm into like a larger scale than the other two games. So keep getting bigger with it. I'm I'm there. Uh, we will take some tail Discord whip. callers. Uh, we will always be uh, ready to spin the wheel at your earliest convenience. Um Anything else on the Nintendo Direct, Brian? I'm kind of caught yeah. up everyone on where we're at here. I'm trying to see. There was something in spe uh, in particular that I wanted to talk about. That was actually pretty cool from it. Aside from... Was it the Splatoon 1 um, Plaza coming to Splatoon 3? I'm uh, curious how that's going to work. No, that <laughs> was the most ridiculous thing that they spent so much time on. I know. On. Like, what do you do there? You can't I don't shop at those stores anymore. I, I don't fucking know. Yeah. It's you know why? All they player. said, All they said was, new hub world. Yeah. For what? I think you could just go visit the first game's hub world. But Who I, gives a fuck? Maybe all the same stores from your other hub world are there now, too. I'm, I'm sure, but like... Just it, change up the aesthetic will, will, for it, old school fans. I, I guess so. I guess so. And that. And I guess. And, and I understand I'm, that look they're. Look at the boats. What? I have boats. Oh my god. I have boat shoes. <laughs> and I understand that there are people that are very diehard and into Splatoon, and I'm not dissing that part of it. The thing is, even if you're diehard and into it, aside from it being oh. a, a nostalgia uh, trip to go back to those hub worlds. Ooh, I went up its ass. What? What is what is the, what does it do, and why did they spend that much time on it during the draft? I think it also comes with a single player add-on. If, if it you buy does, that DLC, yeah. It, if it does bring like more of that single player shit that I loved in Splatoon yeah, 3, because yeah, yeah. I I played the shit out of that uh, single player, then cool. But it really just seemed they just kept going a new hub. A okay. new hub. And then yeah. what do you do there? Yeah, that's a, that's the thing I was really confused about. Oh shit, my demon went inside the angel. Yeah. And look at the... What the fuck? My picture in picture is covering it, but there was like a skull and crossbones in the lower Ooh. left corner. Bayo's flying. Uh, at some point, guys, here, I'm going to need to get my 200 grams of protein a day in. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we we brought in the magic bullet. Oh! Uh, Trish doesn't I know that, that I borrowed there. it. Yeah. We, we're going to be we're gonna be making some protein shakes. Uh, Brian, I don't know if you'd like one, too. I got some milk in the freezer right now. Get it nice uh... and... Fr nice and crispy yeah why not nice and you know Ni nice and icy nice and icy um i do like that oh, nintendo is kind of getting on board oh that illusion island that mickey Hello. game oh what the fuck that looked really good rings it's like sega um there was an illusion island game yes it, it, like an, another platformer or a new ah, platformer excuse cool. me uh, use, using Mickey, so that's cool. That Bayonetta Origins kind of looked. Neat. Oh, that's right. But we thought we saw something before about that. Yeah. 
Um, what else was there that I was into? Oh, um, this is going to refill my moon power. So I can switch between the devil powers. Like, this is Madame Butterfly. Yeah. Hello, my giant empress. Shall I step on you with my high heels? Yes. Mm. Yes, mommy. Uh, and then uh, I could do out, like, you know, the big boy we saw who, who was fighting before here. He's turned, his back is turned. But you get the idea. I'm wasting my power. But this charges it up, so. All right. Now, Nintendo Direct news was uh, for Sean and Johnny who streamed it here. I think they said quite lackluster. But Rocco, I knew, was like more excited than any friend I have for Metroid Prime Remake. Oh, dude, Met I I am fucking over the moon. You on it. you and Rocco are the two. It, I spent so much time on GameCube playing that game. It was one of the first games that taught me how to get better at video games because of the scanning feature. Ah, uh, yes. So the scanning feature told you that there are weaknesses in enemies. So then once you read them a few times, you start to read what the game is trying to tell you, <clears throat> and you start to like see game design elements that help you figure out what to do. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, as I was, what, 16 or whatever that game came out, maybe later, like, it was it was such a fun game for me, and I, I love that series. It's It's... It's really one of my favorite series of I'm all time. I'm excited because like I've never Prime played. Series. Like I, I talked on the podcast, but Prime Dread. Uh, yeah, that's the first Metroid game I've played since the NES Metroid. Wow. So like I, I'm familiar with those. Wow. And I had heard over the years now how beloved Prime is. Never had a chance. Don't own it. Um, never went and looked to pick it up. But now that it's coming out, I'm definitely getting that physically, um, and I can't wait to try it. Um, yeah, you know I, I I love. That's probably the biggest news for me, honestly. Yeah, like, I'm buying a game based on that from the Nintendo Direct. Yeah, and that and that's that's really cool. Like the Prime trilogy, obviously, is going to be something they release. Two, two of these fuckers. Um, I think they'll come out quarterly. Um, you'll get two and three, and then you know next year or whatever it is, they'll say, you know, on the third one they'll say, and then Metroid Five uh, Prime November, uh, four. Um, Which that, time? That would be my guess. I but forgot this game is all about do you have to dodge mm -hmm. to, get to get the witch, witch time. time. Yeah. And that's the only real way you can damage a lot yeah. of the guys. Yeah, and it's all about like this yeah, stylish fighting shit, which is, about again, I'm not complaining, but it's just really cool. Look at that ass. Damn. Um, I love that she dances. I love how ridiculous and Japanese this fucking series is. I love when... Things go hard on. <laughs> yeah. I, I love when things go hard on. I love uh, the hard on. But hard into their own world. Punch uh, this hoe. And create an, a world for themselves. She's just dancing naked while her 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 spell just tramples these guys. Yep. And the music that always kicks up, too, that's so out of class for, like, a normal video game. Like, what is this, like, elegant jazz <laughs> like japanese like uh j lounge jazz yes. music, dude it, it, it's it's really cool speaking of awesome japanese music uh oh yeah you know what's out today no i don't um boom boom i thought this is where you were leading into but what were you gonna say oh uh, i was gonna say um forever uh, well in doing like on thursday nights when i do klbr video happy hour yeah a lot of people have come in and requested uh adarashi Gakko oh, videos. Yeah. And I every time I watch them, I remember when I saw that they were gonna be at the Shell, the Rady Shell out in the bay for Comic Con last year, and I'm uh -huh. like, eh, whatever. I, I this is just the new whatever everybody's talking about band. This is the new uh, you know, Hatsune Miku. Whatever, yeah. It's just the it's everybody's like buzzing about I fucking love them and I'm so bummed I didn't go to that goddamn show. Uh, yeah, I I, I, I think Johnny went. <laughs> Yeah, Johnny and Rocco went. It was put on by Crunchyroll, like, you know. So like a lot of the people that we know in the industry were there, and and, and I'm like, we probably could have gone in. We know like that's what we... I mean. I'm like, I should have fucking talked to somebody, because <laughs> it would have been so fun to watch their performance. They're they're so talented, and this give them a kiss. Kind of reminds me of one of the parts of their songs where they get kind of jazzy. Ooh, the kick sweep, and it goes slow mo, <laughs> so you can see up the skirt. I mean, this game. <laughs> yeah. 
game is all over. Yeah, man. <laughs> I I love that about this game. <sighs> yeah. It, so they've been requesting Arashi Gako. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I've been playing music it too. videos. Yeah, I've been playing them because I just I fucking love. Oh. I love them now. Like just I, I don't. I'm not familiar. Albums, I but, should check it out. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I think you'll like it if you're into kind of like a different style of. It's it, it is kind of idle, but it's not like. It's not like how you imagine. I had an Akib 48 CD. That was you know, as close I got to the idol stuff. But. Yeah. Um, I like idols. I never really appreciated them before, but this group dances and like goes hard with their music. It's fucking, it, real. it's really surprising how talented the the whole group is, and they're like 20. I thought, I thought you were going to talk about when new music was on the docket, that uh, Stephanie Justin album that's oh, yeah. uh, out with that game. Was it Forever Dead. Wanted Dead. Wanted Dead. Yeah, that game came out yesterday. Yeah, Trish just got it, and I, I watched her uh, play the opening, and, and how fucking Japanese it, and, like, awesome. I, I'm excited now to borrow this when she's done. Yeah, and it's a it's a next-gen game. It's not a PS4, PS5, or yeah. Xbox One uh, Series but X. But it's, it's just that type of game that I love playing, which is a Japanese double A title. Yep. It's not a triple A title. Yep. You can tell from how it looks. Yep. The... the I don't need AAA all the time, especially if the gameplay is what really drives it, and that's what I feel like this game is. Um, but yeah, it's uh, already visually and like story mode wise, and the characters' voices that they picked, yeah, uh, are great. They are, they are, and there's a there's a lot of theming, there's a lot of world building. Ooh, he got nice. me. That's he what I was. Me. Watch your health if you have something. Yeah, I, I don't know if I have any items to. Oh, uh, okay. I yeah. wonder if she heals if I bring her out. I've uh, I've I've been kind of like you know talking about it every uh, so often on on here and a lot on KLBR. I'm I just down. I got their media kit last year and I put out a video for them a couple yeah. last week or two weeks ago just because I'm like the game's coming out next week. Reminder that a game that actually looks new and fucking everybody always complains about how there are new games coming. There all new games that are coming out are either a reboot or a remaster or a sequel or whatever a franchise game you had a game like Callisto protocol come out last year people didn't want to go and try it it was my favorite game of last year yeah you have a game like wanted dead coming out i hope that that comes to like ps plus or like game pass and yeah. like people try Callisto protocol because i'm dying to fucking play it yeah i, I need I, to have some free time i just restarted it today on klbr and immediately i'm like yep this is this was my game of last year. This was my rhythm, my vibe, everything. And again, new title, new IP, trying to create its own and establish its own uh, its own spot. Like, yeah. So Wanted Dead is doing that in the same vein of Metal Gear Revengeance and uh, you know like Ninja Gaiden and this and this and a yeah, lot of uh, Wanted Dead is made by Ninja Gaiden and uh, some other games developers. Yeah, they got a lot of people who worked on those games, uh, the original Ninja Gaiden, to work yes. uh, on the development team for it. So I had a great time meeting them. The game itself was fun, and like, I know it's not for everyone. Don't expect it to be, like Garrett said, a, a AAA title. No, it's a AA title. Which With means, a Japanese flair. Yeah. You know, it's got a... And I didn't know it's like a cyberpunk yeah. kind of setting, which I really am into right now. Oh, I should say that too... Uh, over the weekend, I beat Cyberpunk finally. My, yeah! My, I beat my first game. Fuck yeah, dude! Uh, that I had started. Yeah, I was, I was happy to complete the mission. Damn! And, uh, and, and get dropped back into the world before the last mission so I can, like, I guess keep exploring and finding legendary items. And how stuff. many How many hours at the end? Fuck, over a hundred. Wow. Yeah, a hundred and... I don't know, but a lot, a lot. Wow. <laughs> you smoke weed? A lot. A lot. A lot. Lots. A lot. What's it's that kid say with the socks? Lots. He's, he says a lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> but it's just the he's, way he says it. Like, he's a 12 year old. Like, he, lo he looks 14. So, 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 sorry, chat. If you don't know, Garrett and I shifted very quickly. Oh, nice reference. socks. <laughs> Can you find the video? We'll probably yeah. show it. Uh, but, um, yeah, this uh, this weekend, I I was so jazzed up from last Wednesday playing Bowser's Fury yeah, oh, that yeah. I, I went home and I beat that also. I beat that first. Because I had maybe, like, another half hour. I beat that, got back in, and it opens 50 more coins up that you okay. can find. Yeah. Maybe I found, like, 10 more, and then I was like, okay, I'll come back to this again later. I, I beat it. I feel satisfied. I was like, what else am I close to beating? That felt good. And I went, oh, 
I'm waiting at the end of Cyberpunk. Let me just... Let me go in. I've cleared all my gigs. I've bought all my side mission shit that I can do. Let me just go in and do Wakako's mission. Meet, yeah. meet Wakako at Embers. Or what was her name? Yeah, I think Wakako... Something like that. Arasaka. I don't know. No, Wakako's the, the Tiger Claws lady. I forget what the bitch's name. I gotta meet at Embers. Man, it's, the bro it's the brother who killed his dad's sister. Or whatever. Yeah, I forgot their name too. That hoe, whatever that hoe is. Oh, look, I don't know exactly what I do with these mushrooms, but is that video hard to find? Uh, it's, it's like just... skate park kid with weed socks. Yeah. Oh, who's this frog? Hello, frog. Oh, he just comes into my necklace. Thank you. Yeah, here you go. Here we go. What, what was the vine. info with the frog? The ominously beautiful jewels are said to... I'm going to go Brian whoa, full screen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. Yeah, look at those socks, dude. Hey. You smoke weed? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> A lot. A lot. It's just the, the fucking like delivery, the confidence... Everything behind it. <laughs> if you're gonna oh, wear man. the socks, bro, you gotta have the confidence. I mean, he definitely smokes a lot of weed. <laughs> a lot. So I've got a familiar frog now. That could be cool. I don't know what I do with him. This, is, these are the parts of Devil May Cry that always fucked me up. Was the platforming. Aye, uh, aye, aye. Okay, it's, I'm still safe. Oh, that's not good. All right, sorry, Brian. No, it was just you're jumping where there I was thought, no platform ah, to ah, go. Ah, <laughs> I like, thought I could like land there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. This even reminds me of a Devil May Cry level where you're walking through cities on both sides mm -hmm. and the streets are crumbling around you. In DMC? Or, yeah. Well, DMC... I feel like every Devil May Cry game has it, a scene like this. It does. You're right, actually. But DMC, specifically, yeah. reminded me a lot of, of Devil May Cry 5. When I played it again, mm -hmm. a lot of the story elements and the themes, I'm like, this is the same fucking thing. I gotta get back to that. Uh, oh yeah, Virgil's back. All our oh, usual cast of characters. Is dude, here. now you can fucking uh, transfer your uh, file over to the PS5 edition. Of what? Oh wait, you might not have premium PS Plus, but I thought they put uh, Devil May Cry 5 uh, Virgil edition, which is the PS5 edition, oh, yeah. on PS Plus. Uh -oh. But I don't know which tier you have for PlayStation. I got that PS4 game, but I... I I think I get the basic PlayStation tier. What's the other one get you? Uh, More games? Yeah, pretty? there's a bunch of like game catalog yeah, stuff and, the, and stuff. The the game catalog access is something even with the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance games that they were talked about in the last Nintendo Direct, I just am not interested. Yeah. I, I don't have time to play the games I'm buying physically. Yeah. And or want to replay that I have physically from my old systems. Yeah. Um, that still work and I could still very much play. In fact, I dusted off my Game Boy Advance SP. <laughs> Everyone's playing Game Boy Advance games. And yeah. Game Boy games. So I said, fuck it. I can play too. I ain't buying tier two Nintendo bullshit. No. I'm going to go charge up my SP. I busted out Metal Slug Advance. Kevin got me this awesome Resi 2 bootleg. Wow. Um, but that game is like a tech demo thing. It's like yeah. broken as fuck. But um, it's funny. He has like no dialogue, right? You can expect a fair rate. I can't hear his voice at all. What the hell? Sometimes, watch this. This will this will be like set in um, surround, surround sound. sound still. Oh, do you not have it set to auto? It should. You would think, but let's check it out. Well, the Switch is fucking ridiculous. The so. Switch, for whatever reason, half the time me and Trish are at home watching a game on the full screen, and it's in stereo. And I'm like, can you go adjust it and put it in? I don't even know where it is now. Uh, is it audio? Internet, parental controls, airplane mode? I think it might have been under TV settings. Yeah, maybe. 1080, full range. TV sound surround. I mean, we're... Automatic. Okay. But I mean, it. it's plugged into a TV. It should be surrounded. We should be able to hear it, right? Oh, I don't want to test. No, not that. <laughs> I hate when it... I know. Brrr. Does all the subwoofer noises. Okay, automatic. Let's see if we can hear homie now. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's automatically not working let's let's try one more time let's set it to stereo yeah 
And then I'll have to remember when I get back home to do it <laughs> back when I plug it in. Which is TV. probably why it was like this. Stereo. I'm going to try mono next. Yeah, if that doesn't work. <laughs> if not, glitch. I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't hear him at the end. Did the game audio go away? Maybe uh, in general the game, not. It's showing up there. There's some static. Huh. I don't know. I have no idea. But you hear that static? Yeah. All of a sudden, how, what does that sound like to you guys? I hear static. They're yeah, saying, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's put it back around. I think we, like, bugged it out. I think Because the static went away. The game's fucked up. Listen, now. Everything's good. Yeah. The game's what? fucked oh, up. Oh, wait. What's going on up there? <laughs> Dude, you're right. One of the TVs is bugging. Why is... So that might be the issue. It Let's might be trying it. to send it to that TV. I don't know. I want to go back to our monitor because we have an in, uh, you know, that fixed that monitor. When monitor. I put it back what on the surround. What the side. fuck back, is back, this? Back. I hear clicks. I hear it all now. Yeah. Okay. What we're the we're, we're what back, the I, dude. I don't know. Fuck. We'll have to just. Uh, yeah, that's why subtitles are on, right? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. The haunted oh, wait, switch. Don't, don't buy this. Uh, I do need to buy some shit. Uh, Rodin's Treasures, Sleeping Dog Statue. Is that Hachiko? No. Place in Viola's room. What does that do for me? A color bullet? There, there's so many things you can buy in this game. Oh, accessories. I do want to save up for because I have accessory slots. Enrages enemies even without taunting them. Increases magic power or recovery speed. Prevents infernal demons from being enraged. Immortal marionette. Performs combos. You know what? I, I don't know how to use any of this shit yet, so let's just stick to health items. Because I know I need those. So. Mega purple lollipop. Prevents magic flower de depletion. Temporarily increases attack. Attack. Invincibility. Which ones help my uh, health? Revives you instantly if your vitality is depleted. Causes enemies to drop. So that's like a that's like a continue. The red hot shot. Well, I should buy one of those. Okay. For sure. But does it use automatically? Curious. Normally. They... Oh, here's small amount, large amount, vitality. Okay. Oh, I forgot that in this game the she sucked on lollipops for health. She has that's a lolly. Funny. And then magic purple, what is that? that? Those are the power. All right, let's just worry about greens. We got some. Thanks, Rodan. Um, I feel like I remember a problem with this game last time I played it where I couldn't hear him. What the fuck? <laughs> Thanks, dude. Is that a new weapon? That's a new weapon he made off of the demon we just killed. Ooh, it looks mm. marvelous, darling. She's not saying much either. Maybe oh, that's stripper pole for Maybe her. that's what they decided. Like, since uh, you know the main person got mad, nobody could have voice acting. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Since they recast her, I think something's off. I don't know. Who knows? Change the equipment. I don't know if I'm ready for this thing. The giant club containing anti-material rifle is cumbersome but powerful, at close and long range. Yo, hold B in midair to charge and release energy for additional forward boosts. Demon pulse. Oh, you can use it as a rocket propellant. Oh, okay. See, like, if you get good with this game, you can move around the world differently even. Really? Yeah, like okay. the way, like, that's what they were saying. Like, um, oh, wait, that's how I switch between those two. Oh, first off, too, let me figure out how to use a lollipop. I would assume it's probably down or something like that. Whoa, photo mode's fucking weird. End photo mode, yeah. Ah! No. The switch controls being backwards. So oh, right, right, right. So bad. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, back, back. So it's not start. Or was it minus? Yes. Hello. Could be. Demons equipment. equipment. Here, let's set up the B equipment. Fuck. 
It's minus. <laughs> Let's set up the B equipment to be the G pillar. Yeah. Color my world of the guns where I'm a butterfly girl. G pillar, I look like hell on earth. That's what I call my manhood. The G pillar? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's a gangsta cock. I, pu I prop myself up with my kickstand. Hey guys. My G pillar. <laughs> this is George. <laughs> this is George. I've got a G pillar. Yo, I put that on my G pillar. Okay. Well, look at that. The G pillar. It's not a monster cock. Uh... It's a large caliber anti material rifle. Okay. Oh, fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not you. Uh. Let's see. Fuck, dude. What did it say? I can. Super Bowl was this week. Did you watch any of it? Look at how I moved. That's cool. Holy shit, I'm a demon. Now you move like the Hulk. Yeah, right? Um, no, I didn't watch any of it, actually. I told myself I was going to this year, too, but not a thing. Hey, is anyone out there? Player info. What does this do? Why enter? Do I enter their game? Ooh. Wait, it didn't happen. If you're there, say something. Enter. I'm holding. Oh, I have to hold it down. I don't know. Yeah, I should figure out how to use this thing. Oh, it's a club, too. Yeah. Nice. I could get to used to a slow-moving weapon like this. I saw uh, Lady Gaga tweeted and put on her Instagram images. Of uh, Bayo? Of... <laughs> no, actually. Because she's a big Bayonetta fan. I know Rocco was going to teach uh, Stephanie how to play. Yeah, I think she figured it out. She um, probably did. No, no, uh, a, a, a clip of her and uh, Joaquin Phoenix in Joker 2. Oh, Lady Gaga's in the Joker 2. What? Oh, wow, Jesus. Uh, uh, so Lady Gaga's in the musical, which is Joker 2. It's called... Uh, oh, this wow. is real? Yeah, I heard I'm, some yeah. rumor that the Joker <laughs> sequel is going to be a musical. Yeah, Folly I do. She's... We didn't talk about this on the podcast. This was in the Super Bowl? No, no. Oh. The, the, she she had put this out yesterday, uh, an image oh, gotcha. of her um, and uh, and Joaquin Phoenix. There's probably a video, but um, I already know I want to go see it, so I, I don't care about whatever the, the tease is. This um, is like a time trial that I joined. I, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to do this. Ouch. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a, a musical. It's going to include her and Joaquin Phoenix, and I love that idea like the again, whole movie is going to be a musical yeah i mean the, the first movie kind of was in certain ways like he was already doing dance numbers He's dancing and, around and, yeah yeah right like there are all, all these ornate things so i feel like i like that they're letting this kind of be weird like kind of crazy you know what i mean like not not like oh isn't this crazy like no like they're diving into living in an insane mind and seeing sure, the yeah. world. Here's his psychosis, like, mm -hmm. made visible. He, this you. is how real it is to a psychotic person. Uh, the, this is how the world is viewed to them. So, yeah, the idea that this movie is going to be a, a, a musical, or a, a predominantly musical, is actually really interesting to me. Um, but I love I, when you call the demon, all the cars around you are just, like, whisked up into the air. It's great. I love, the, I love that this game oh, actually feels more next-gen than I thought it would. Because when I played Bayo 2, I was super disappointed. I mean, Bayo 2 is a Wii U game, right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. They fucking... ported them both to, to Switch yeah. early in the Switch's life, but yeah. Yeah, totally different. Mm -hmm. um, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, the only thing I saw come out of the Super Bowl was... Uh, actually, like, nothing. Was there a new, new fucking, like, Ant-Man trailer or something? I'm sure there was. Indiana Jones they, they did the commercial for the Mario movie, which oh, okay, honestly looks cool. cute. But I, I saw that commercial on Twitter that Later, morning. Yeah, yeah. No, before the Super Bowl. Oh, did you? Okay. I yeah, I, which was dope. Like, the original Super Brothers Super Show theme. Yeah. With the fucking voice actress of Peach in that cartoon. Was oh, the, is that who that was? Was okay. the lady who they're working on her kitchen. I, I like the animation because it looked funny. Like, when, when she got to the end and was... And I, yeah, she and doesn't read it was, <laughs> understand it. <laughs> <laughs> like, but why would I say that? Yeah. <laughs> like but that. not your wallet. That was funny because it was just like, you got your customer to leave this part of your commercial, you know, tag. But she doesn't understand the, the I, I, I liked that. Yeah. Kid, well, that goes right over the head. Well, yeah, kid's adult, just going to laugh. Yeah. 
But uh, again, it's like it's like I said. I, I tweeted it. I tweeted it. I don't know two years ago. Like everybody here is gonna shit on the Mario movie and go see it day one. Um, because again, it's like, what do you expect out of a movie that's gonna be called Super Mario Brothers? Do you think it's gonna be an adult movie? Oh, they I'm did that. sold. I was. I'm. I'm sold on any video game movie, and yeah. my audience knows that. But what I'm even more sold on now is like, I don't care about DC shit. Uh huh. But that Flash trailer. Yeah. That revealed. Uh, the original 1990s Keaton. Michael Keaton Batman is going to be in it in that suit. I'll I'll go see that now. I, I wasn't before, but now I'll totally go fucking see that. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck. I'm I'm here for it. More multiverse shit. It's like the same thing Spider Man did for Marvel. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I, How do I? That's what I'm, I'm hoping. That's uh, my familiar. Uh, and, and this is I think been uh, been sort of the. Um, What's it called? The the reset, I guess that they that they've declared is it's no longer an extended DC universe. Meaning they're not trying to do this fucking thing anymore, where all of these characters have to butt against each other and then meet in a fucking movie and face one big villain. That works in comic books because it works and they've built up to it, but it doesn't need to work in movies, especially DC. DC always has existed on its own kind of terms and then justice league and all these other things are like kind of different stories from the main storyline until they need to have a convergence story Uh. but with this it's really cool because i think they're again like the flash has been a really cool character people have been really behind flash and the whole flashpoint thing the arrowverse and it feels like if they keep on that vein they have something going there but then yeah let the batman be the batman let that Joker movie be the Joker movie, just like it is with comic books. Yeah, sure, I'm totally sure. fine with single one-off DC properties I'm just not saying, being connected to a larger meta universe. But these are, I mean, the, these Ezra Miller, these, these ones, uh, yes. these Ezra Miller DC movies are, are connected to all of the Superman and and the Ben Affleck Batman and everything. Because like Ben Affleck's Batman is in he's in that movie, that yeah. movie, and Michael Keaton's Batman. Yeah. I mean, it's it's literally what Marvel did with Spider-Man, like. Tobey yep. Maguire, yep. Andrew Garfield, like everyone's in it. Yeah. So, I mean, how fucking, how, uh, what's the term? Uh, uh, distilled down of an idea, like everyone's doing multiverse shit, and DC's just the last to do it. But here yeah. I am, a sucker for it. Like, okay, you showed me Michael Keaton in that fucking pointy ass suit. It's great. Here, here I come with my nostalgia buy. You know. Yeah. Um, and you know what's great is DC was one of the originators of the multiverse. Like it wasn't, it wasn't really, uh, it wasn't really Marvel as I much. I never as read DC, so yeah. like you know, I heard of Marvel's six one six and their Ultimates universe. Yeah, and all, all of that stuff splitting. That's kind of the first place I ever heard of it. Yeah, but that's just me. So I didn't read anything DC. Yeah, and 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 for Marvel, it was more of how DC should be running their their universe now Ooh, with the diamonds. cinema, which is. There's just multiple universes, so we can have different, like, because they had different arcs that would all run at the same time. Astonishing sure. X Men came out at the same time as Uncanny X Men. Yeah, as, yeah, uh, all that shit. You know, whatever else they had, uh, Ultimate X Men. But they would distinguish like this was the six one six, this was the eight one eight. Yeah, they would have numbers, or again, it would be in the in the world of like, okay, Astonishing Spider Man's in the same world as Astonishing X Men, maybe. Yeah. you know, or. Or again, ultimate. That was its own Ultimates separate was universe. Their own thing. Yeah, and then, um, then yet, Age of Apocalypse was its own separate yeah. timeline of like something that could have happened that didn't. But DC was one of the first to kind of like, well, we have this old guard of like we've been running around for sixty years. Yeah, with old Superman. Yeah. And Batman and... So I think it was called Crisis on Infinite Worlds. I remember the Infinite Crisis, yeah. Infinite Crisis was the second time they did it. Oh, really? Crisis on Infinite Worlds was the first convergence. Oh, so DC probably did come up with that first, because that, that was probably in the 80s. In the comics, yeah, it was. And it's a good story. Um, and then, yeah, Infinite Crisis is something totally different. That was like the the, the Marvel superheroes basically did some fucked up shit. Or the DC superheroes kind of did some fucked up shit. Batman sort of found out about it, went, this wasn't right. This created a whole, like, rift thing, and then, yeah, anyway. That was, like, their civil war. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is this telling me? Getting items, special items, orbs. This, this game does get real complex, and it's like, I don't even know where all these menus are hidden. Yeah. Hold to unlock. Okay. Unlocked it. Yay! But, yeah, so I think it's cool that they uh, that we're going to get to see 89 
Batman yeah. in, a, in a modern movie, yeah, too. Yeah. That's, hey, you know what? It he got me to good. want to go see it. Yeah. And he, if not, I'll wait for HBO Max. He looks good. And, and I forgot about whatever the fuck that Ezra Miller shithead has been up to. And, and uh, Yeah, I don't really... He's been weird and fucking dumb. Let let the fucking governments and, and fucking legal systems take care of him. Uh, let, let me see what he's doing in the movie as Barry Allen. I don't give let, a fuck. Let me see this fucking movie finally. Yeah. Well, it's crazy. DC and Warner have such problems... With their superhero shit, like mm-hmm. they made Painus, <laughs> Painus, what? Yo, I got a Painus. I'll show you. I got a Painus. Uh, let's dance class. Uh, can I come? Yes, you can. Painus comes to town. I'm getting horny now just thinking about. You it. You can come, all right. Um, <laughs> the Warner Brothers problem though with like making movies like that Supergirl one that they didn't even put out. Oh, God. Like, uh, what's his name that just won the fucking Oscar um, for The Whale? Oh, Brendan Fraser? Brendan Fraser, Brendan Fraser plays a villain in the Supergirl movie that's shot and just not released. Oh, wow. Wait. <laughs> and there's no voice acting in this game's audio Yeah, track. they took it all out now. <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> yeah, you might have it's to. It's in protest. Yeah, you I might have to, like, to quit restart. the game. Yeah. yeah, after this, save and quit the game. I mean, it's fine for tonight. Oh my god. Um, Come here, Pinus. What else? What else? What else did we get up to? Well, I saw, um, speaking of movies, you know, like. Uh, oh, yeah. I saw Knock at the Cabin, which was good. Um, the new M. Night Shyamalan. But Batista was, like, awesome. Oh, uh, oh yeah? Yeah, he is. He's a good actor. I love him in uh, 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 Blade Runner 2049. But he has such a small role. Do you remember in the beginning of Blade Runner? Yeah. Oh, he was. He, I was so impressed by his performance. Yes. He's so quiet. Oh my and he's, god. He's like reserved and quiet, and he has glasses. It's just a different type of Batista that I'm not used to seeing. He is really out of any of the wrestlers turned actors. Oops. He's really the most impressive in terms of what he's done in his range and his reach for yeah. for his ability. I think so, and. Uh, Knock at the Cabin Door was great, and I bring it up in comparison to Blade Runner 2049 because it's that type of role. Oh, okay. It's, it's him as a kind of quiet, very nice, polite, and um, reserved person. And then uh, he wears glasses in it too, which is very, like, mm. you just don't see him with, like, tight little reading glasses on. It just reminded me of that role he played as Sapper Morton. Uh, or Morton Sapper, I think was the character's name. Yeah. I can't dodge. I kind of want to watch shit. that movie again. I, I'd seen I it a couple it. of times, but like, it's been a while since. I can't then. dodge anything. Isn't dude. it L two? I am just not doing. I'm missing every uh, fucking. I don't know how these enemies attack. Oh, either way, I'm gonna fucking die. The little again. propeller thing, I guess. No, I'm just mi- I'm missing. I, oh, that I dodge see. button. There, there you go. There I go. Which time? But I don't get it for very long each time. I'm gonna fucking hit you guys with my super. And also, how about this? Fuck you. Yeah, honestly, like, I didn't love old, but I didn't hate it. Uh, you know? It, it, this is better than old. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed it. I thought old was cool. Like, it was, it's M. Night Shyamalan. It's going to be a thrill. It's kind of like, it's watching a premium episode of a show like Lost, where you don't really know what to expect and things are going to get fucking weird. Um... And so I enjoyed that part of M. Night Shyamalan. I think people always want him to be, like, this horror guy. And it's like, no, M. M. Night Shyamalan just gives you a different experience. He takes he takes good concepts and then finds ways to break them, in, break them up into something that you maybe haven't seen before. Blow a kiss, you're done. Bye-bye. The kiss of death. Yeah. Say goodbye, Bayo. Bye-bye. Um, I love the zoom in after a level so much. But, uh, yeah, that, that movie was good. I would recommend that. I also saw Frank was watching um, that remake of Suspiria that uh, Luca Guadagnino Oh, I didn't directed. know they made a remake. I, I, I've, honestly, i got to be honest with you. I've always had a hard time getting through the original, which mm. I, I think is Dario Argento, the Italian Suspiria. But this remake with um, Tilda Swinton, and I, I didn't I know... Mia Goth was in it, so I was pretty pumped to see... You know, I knew that Redhead and, like, Tilda Swinton and, and some of these other actresses were in it. But the uh, 
the role Mia Goth had was actually major kind of character, so I was mm-hmm. more interested. Like, oh, I want to watch this. Uh, is it Dario Argento? Yeah, it is mm-hmm. Argento. It's Argento. Seventy something. It's just very slow. It's very. They don't outright show a lot of witchcraft. This this one they like show witchcraft. They oh. show the witches doing shit. Oh really? Yeah, more more so than the original Suspiria. Okay. Oh, Chloe, Chloe Grace Moritz is in it. Yeah. Uh, but it was good. Uh, That's nice. I'm so, yeah, with that Frank. Came out I in 2018. Recommend, okay. I recommend it. That's really cool. It's on Amazon Prime for free. If you oh have hell yeah! Prime. I watched Princess and the Frog. Oh wow! <laughs> it was a good hall uh, Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. for Valentine's, um, we put that on. Did uh, did some Legos. I, you know what, man? Th- that movie is still good. I make a sequel or do more movies like that. I, it was. What do it, I do? Oh, I throw a dart. Oh, the, on where you're going next? Throw the dart. Oh, that's cute. Here we're going. Um, yeah, I loved it. I think I think again. I've never it's seen like, it. It's pretty. It's nice. They're they're re tooling uh splash mountain to be themed after that now that's right uh yeah, yeah. so it's cool to to like refresh on it but uh but yeah i was i mean it's fun again all those animated movies are cool i just wish they did more the animation style in that movie is beautiful like absolutely <clears throat> gorgeous oh i was gonna tell you because speaking of animation um the lupin the third movie that looks like uh, oh yeah, DreamWorks tra- or a like Pixar animation. Yeah, the newest uh, Lupin kind of thing is out on Hulu. Yeah, uh, if you have Hulu right now, you can find that. And uh, I finally got a chance to watch that. That thing's like from 2016, I think, and I've never been able to see it. Lupin the third, uh, Lupin the third, the first. It's uh, about. Let me look at that picture. Yeah, that's it. Lupin the Third, the first. Came that's out in twenty nineteen. No, 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 no. Is that twenty nineteen? I thought it was in twenty sixteen. Uh, Maybe it was twenty nineteen. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, that sounds right. That's pre pandemic. I'm I'm adding way too many years to it. Dude, it, it fucking well. It's Time still, is already. It's already three years old. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's four years four, old. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fantasy. Fuck right. Um, that's cool. Okay, I'm glad to know that because I I do want to check out. I like checking out like hour and 20 minute type features like that. It's perfect for that, yeah. And can I tell you what? It is surprising how much of the plot is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Okay. And in a good way. It's like, take take an anime, take Lupin the Third, which is kind of like, okay, he's, he's a thief. He's a third line of uh, French thieves, this famous uh, Lupin character and his friends, you know. And then... Uh, Zenigata, the cop, he's always after him, trying to stop him from stealing stuff. He works for Interpool. That's all that show ever was. It's like globe trotting for treasures, Lupin, yeah. Lupin and his friends trying to steal shit, and the cops trying to shut him down. Whoa, okay, yeah. But then this like adds that element and goes like, okay, now make that, but let's animate and put like an anime version of Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade in there. He's gonna run from the Nazis. They're gonna use this diary to find. It's like I, I don't want to go too into it, but it's like the whole middle of the film. It doesn't ruin the film in any way. Yeah. But just keep in mind that the whole middle of the movie is the plot of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Okay. Okay. It, it, it's just awesome how comparable it is. Hell yeah, dude. Um, without giving anything away, it doesn't that doesn't spoil it or make it. Uh, uh, less of a surprise when you watch it. Wow. So the world is just kind of like dealing with this invasion of uh, angels. And here I am, the only one that can stop them. So I guess what, did the tarantula just make a pact with me to be another one of my infernal demons I can call on? I think that's what just happened. Let me check. I've got, yep, here he is. Should I bust him out? Let's see what he looks like. Hey, buddy. Oh, hell. Oh, he's fast. Yo, he's super fast. Oh, torture device. I, uh... Whoa, I'm doing crazy shit. What were you going to say? I don't know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I-, I was going to say something. I think I took down two of them just with the that summon. <laughs> My guy. Hell yeah. Oh, is he already dead? Blew your mind. Oh, here comes their... Now let me blow your mind. More coming. I went to the Mario thing. 
Oh, did you go to Nintendo Land? Yeah, did I talk about that here? No. No, no, I didn't. I haven't been. I'm like the only was... one who hasn't gone. Oh. Yet. Well, yeah. I don't think Sean or Sean Derek. Sean or Derek have not gone. Yeah. Um, has Johnny? Yeah, I believe Okay, so. good, good, good. And uh, I'm sure Kevin Maybe has. not. Maybe I don't know. I'm well, sure Kevin and Rocco have, and then I'm... I'm... Oh, Rocco's been like five times. Oh, of course. Uh, he's... I don't know if it's five, but Rocco's been multiple times. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it's... Opening technically in two days, like that's the official. Oh, really? Opening day. We got a uh, annual pass preview, uh, Jasmine and I, and we went on the fourth. You where you had to schedule a thing? Yeah, we were. You uh, you get uh, uh, open window like two three hours. That's cool. And, I know uh, that's that's how Rocco and a bunch of like Kevin, Rachel, and everyone went yeah. the other week. It was it was really cool, man. I I really appreciate the. Uh, Attention it, to detail. Yeah, it, it's the most like complete world that they have there outside of the uh, Harry Potter land. Which again, it's which like is tiny. Both of them are tiny. Yeah, I, that, I figured because there's not a lot of room there. I mean, I, I mean, you can't take up that much space. You know what I mean? Like it just. What do you do unless you have another ride? Well, it's Los Angeles. You know, you yeah. just don't have the room to spread out like you do in Florida. Yeah. And and even still, like do you want to touch the other me? worlds aren't that whoa. big either. I, I saw the I saw whoa. the whoa I saw the Japanese one, and it was like it was only like slightly larger, slightly bigger. Okay, um, but it's it's its own little world, own studio set, so it's actually closed off from the rest of uh, the rest of the park. And uh, I mean, it's right next to the, the you know the Transformers ride the bottom lot, but when you're in there, it's wrapped around you. So you're in the Mario. You're world. right in the middle, in the thick of it. Yeah, uh, the game, like the the gamification of the park with the fucking power bands and all oh, that. Oh, did you get the power band? Yeah, you you, uh, you don't have to. I would want to. But it, but it's like I don't know. It's like going to an arcade and watching your friends play all the games. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like why would you go to the fucking arcade? No, that's true. I, I would want to get a band. I know it's, it's forty bucks. Forty bucks. But. That's not bad. Sucks if you gotta buy four of them for your kids. Yes, but I have no kids. <laughs> yeah, if you had a bunch of kids and you're like, oh shit, I'm, uh, I'm going broke. Yeah, if you got if you're Sean, then no, I get that. You don't want to buy seven of those fucking things. Sean even pointed out though, he's like, you know, the big kids will probably be okay with like the little girls getting them, and then they don't yeah. need, it, you know. Yeah, uh, and I mean, as long as you it? have one, then it's Is that like a secret? it's cool. Uh, but basically, it just tracks what you do there. So you, there are games and things that you can play. There's like a narrative that that like you can go through in the game, uh, in the in the in the in the land that gives you like, you know, more interaction with the world. And and that's what makes it cool. Then on the ride, it actually like tracks what you did. It's all leaderboarded. So it, it, it's exactly what I think Nintendo wants to do next. Where fucking Buzz Lightyear. Fuck. Angel just showed it up. It do look like Buzz Lightyear. What the fuck is what this? What is this Buzz Lightyear Whoa. Warhammer motherfucker? Hey. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. Um, it's probably going to be insanely busy when people go there uh, oh. after it opens. So look out. Don't go right ah. away. Uh, but yeah, button. it's it's fun. Uh, and if you can go, go. Yeah, I'm going to try in March. Winds PAX East. Mega 64, I should say, is coming to PAX East. That's right. And I believe I'm coming. I'm not 100% sure on that. I know I've been wrong in the past. But um, I think I'm being sent out there for it. But I think when I get back, Trisha wants to do a a universal day. She's, oh, yeah. She said, she's, it's, she said it's on her, even. I was like, really? oh, yeah, babe. All right. Yeah, honestly, I'm I'm happy I got the annual pass. Uh, doing the themed worlds is cool. I I Ugh. strongly suggest people get there um, when the park opens because it's kind of nice to be there when no one's there. Uh, and yeah, enjoy. It's it, it, I mean the park itself is still cool. Like Universal Studios isn't a shitty place to be, but it By is a means. it's a double A theme park. Ooh, you know, kiss to them. Um, where Disney is triple A. The num no one does it better unless there's like some fucking Saudi theme park that's super themed. Uh, nobody does it better than Disney. I love Super Saudi. Uh, I don't know what the Super theme Saudi park. World. <laughs> super Saudi World. The only thing I can think of is another place that puts that much money into some Dubai. Yeah, like yeah, where it's also clean, where it's also themed, where everything is part of like kind of being into a show. So why don't they have Dubai Disney? They got Shanghai Disney. They got yeah. Disney Paris, Tokyo Disney, Hong Kong Disney. T fucking Japan's got two of them, just like America yeah. does. Yeah, they got Shanghai and uh... no Disney Sea. 
Disney sees in Japan. That's why I said Disney Japan's got two of them. Oh. And you said Shanghai and. Uh, no, you're right. My bad. <laughs> Shanghai's uh, just the only one that China has, right? Or does China have two? Well, yeah, they have Hong Kong and they have. Oh, and Shanghai. Shanghai, yeah. So they got two as well. Well, I thought Disney Sea was in the like Disney Resort. No, it's a different. Uh, oh. It's a different park. Yeah. I guess, yeah, because you don't. I guess you could count California Adventure, Disneyland, and Disney World as three, but I always put California Adventure and Disneyland together. Yeah, well, that I mean, that's that's kind of what I was saying. I thought but, you would put but, Disney Sea and Disneyland Tokyo together. I don't think they're they're, they're not even near geographically each other? Uh, near each other. See, I did not know that. Um, I don't think you could check. I I went to Disney Sea and I didn't see anything near that park like the, where there was another way to go in. oh okay and everything on the trains and everything was branded for disney sea tokyo disneyland are they attached i mean if they I like geographically know. you might just have to google it because i don't know how the hell you would look that up because uh, you've actually been so i def- i normally would just yeah in 2010 to people, um, you know i don't fucking remember <laughs> Okay, and we will get to your Discord calls very shortly. The other one, I see you on there. Thank you for calling. Um, we're going to be picking up in just a second. I don't know if I can... Dodge. One more dodge. This guy's almost dead. Look, all his armor's falling off. I'm doing the fucking gigaton blast on him. Yes, the toe cutter. My favorite move. Thank you. Okay, so it's it's part of the same resort, but it's not the same. It, it, yeah, so it's the same thing as like California Adventure and Disneyland, or Epcot, they're next door to each other. Animal Kingdom, yeah, like how Disney World has Epcot, okay. Animal Kingdom. They're different parks, but they're part of the whole resort, or at least that's what it says. They're next door to each other. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shit on me. I should head back to Tokyo. I haven't been. I want to go, man. But tickets are expensive. So bad. I mean, right after the pandemic, when they reopened everything, it was super cheap. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, the other one's been patiently waiting on hold. Let's oh, yeah. pull them into the on-air so, Discord yeah. channel. Hello, Chloe. Hello. Hello. I, don't I, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. How's it going? How you doing? It's doing good. Cool. Good to hear it. Brian and I are just playing How a little... How come I'm the only one in the waiting room? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> was anyone waiting there with you? People to call in. No, it was just me. That's you... why I thought, like, oh, this can't be happening. Can't be no one in there. It so, happens. You know, sometimes we got... They, they're they quiet observers. You don't have to join in the conversation. Not always. What did Garth Brooks say? Let's get the conversation yeah. started. We're in our no longer. How did that happen? <laughs> we'll get the conversation started, but you don't have to be a part of it. Uh, but Chloe you is, can, hello. You can, okay, you can out. Yeah, well, you can be a passive viewer. That's me most of the time. Shit, if I tune into my friend's streams, half the time I never type anything in the chat because then I announce myself and it's like, oh, hey, fuck, Garrett's here. Hey, what's up? And I'm like, oh, no. Now I am now I have to stick around. Now I'm stuck. Nah, I'll leave. <laughs> I leave whenever I need to. That's the best part about chat rooms. They don't know when you leave. But then there's 30 people going like, hey, Garrett, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, not there answering. Oh, nope. I go underground. When I raid people, I'm there for about 30 seconds. What? Se- raid Oh, people. thank you. A hard D oh. sounds a lot yeah. better. Yeah. What, um, I, what, what I, miss, I heard. I misheard you. Yeah, same here, Chloe. What I, heard. I was getting worried about my friend. What'd you hear? Um, uh, <laughs> 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 um, Chloe, we know what we heard. Yeah. Oh, I know what I heard. <laughs> I just found a secret, but I didn't find the, the place. No. But, yeah, when you raid people, you just bounce. Uh, I'll, like, Same. say hi. I'll, I'll answer, like, one question, and then I nah, close the window. Yeah, I'm like, totally. I just did six hours of this. I'm bye. I'm fucking getting done, oh. getting off of work. Wall crawl? Do I need to uh, use? I think I need to use the spider to crawl up a wall. Yeah? I don't know, because look what's staying on the screen is wall crawl with okay. L. And then oh, you wait, can do a attack. Do him. No, yeah, I like do that him. Angle. There you go. What the fuck? Where'd he go? He and just left. What? And then what? And then do I go with him? Do you ride him? Whoa! Fly, what the fuck? I don't know. I can't go over there. What's, the, what's this? Or can I? That heals. That refills my moon power. Uh, Maybe I crawl up over... Fly. No? Ah! Oh, Fire. that hurts. No. 
Ah, uh, that hurts Ow. me. But there's, there's got to be a way. I don't know. I don't know. I'm honestly like stuck here. Anyway, Chloe, while I figure it out, how you been? What's the purpose of your call? I love your new Jamie Hader image, uh, the the drawing you did. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm excited to watch Jamie Hader versus the Bunny on AEW. Uh, rant? No. What? What's tonight? Dynamite? Dynamite. 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 Yeah, I couldn't remember the name. That was, uh, did, did you watch last week's episode at all? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought the bunny was hurt, so I'm surprised to see she, her. Yeah, she landed a bit weird, and yeah, I was a little concerned. Yeah, it seemed like the match was, uh, wrapped up a little bit sooner than they wanted it to, also because the show went off the air, like, a minute A minute, before. yeah. Like they, well, it seemed like they were letting it drag. At the end of the show, which they normally are out of time on shits. What the fuck just happened? So maybe yeah. maybe it was just like a, a minor thing and they wanted to make sure she was protected. Um, yeah. I, I did want to talk about that episode of Dynamite. I don't want to, you know, constantly talk about wrestling. No, that's what I we're here in, for. God, Call in, dude. I'm going to hit it. Hold on. Now, Hold on. With a rampage, here's King Ward Abu Chakra to give you the raw smackdown. Dynamite. Dynamite. In this case, it's not the King Lord. <laughs> we got uh, our dear friend Chloe giving the us Chloe'd the Chloe'd one. The Raw Smackdown. Oh, I gotta do this in like four <laughs> seconds. Shit. Okay. All right. Let's see. Where Where is the arc? I want, I want to see it. God it. damn that that ep that last episode fucking ruled. Oh shit. Yeah. What was your What was your favorite part? Because I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember uh, specifically what was well, in we, that episode. We started off with. MJF versus Takesha. Oh yeah, which, that's right. Right, was was awesome. Dude. What else did we have in there? We had uh, MJF went full Joker and admitted to uh, what was yes. it, vehicular manslaughter? Yes, and no, then, she and wasn't then, dead. And then he put his girlfriend in the wheel uh, to Behind take the, the wheel. fall or whatever. He just he just admitted to being an absolute piece of trash, which is the best. <laughs> yeah, he is the worst. Of now, course, because uh, I've got a career ahead of me. <laughs> now we had your image on uh, on the screen, the Jamie Hader drawing that you did, and I, I'm fucking. I hope I hope that you keep uh, getting these. I love these portraits. Yeah, did uh, did did Jamie Hader see it at all? Uh, I don't think she did, but okay. um, I did one of uh, I did one of Maki Ito, and she retweeted it, and I my mentions got fucking flooded. Oh, oh. hell yeah, dude! Yeah, tag them in the post next time too. I strongly recommend. Uh, oh yeah. Double tagging them. I it's did, good that you put the I hashtag, but uh, oh, yeah, because like when this is how a lot of my friends Chloe have found like wrestlers to, that want like art and stuff done for them, and then they end up like getting whoop, like. Our, my uh, what's his name? God, I always do this. JB, the guy who does like all, all those like cool uh, bootlegs of the Soprano stuff, like the Carmella shirt that Rocco and I have. Yes. Like he would, do, he would do, he would get wrestlers to be like, "Yo, hey, I really like this. Uh, think, uh, uh, like, let's work something out." Or they'd work with him for a design. So, yeah, this is this is, stuff like this is awesome. Like that would be such a cool shirt design, or like a, you know, something that they could put merchandise on. Stickers even? Imagine Jamie Did Hader stickers it? like that. Fuck. Uh, dude, if, if a wrestler reached out to me to, for me to make merch for them, I, I would probably ascend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, again. Keep I have tagging ascended. Them. Keep tagging them and, and, and it'll happen. We saw your stuff because you tagged us. So that's, uh, it's when, yeah, it's, again, that's, this is fucking that's sick. That's smart. Yeah, your, your stuff is great, Chloe. It Look really at that. is. Uh, uh, thank you. Fucking sick. And I, I've got ideas. I got ideas for a lot more, so there'll, I, there'll be more of them. I did really like uh, that that Takeshita match, and then did yeah. am, am I wrong? But then did uh, Butcher and Blade come out, and and Butcher was wearing like a pirate outfit <laughs> or something like. <laughs> Butcher's got like new ring gear. Did you see that, Brian? Oh, uh, I might not have uh, been looking at that one because I I was also like it was what it was yeah, Friday I, morning I, when I watched it. I was also like doing God. shit around the house. I yeah, had a, I had a wedding on. Friday, I, I right? honestly, uh, you were talking about that last match. I think I need to rewatch it because I didn't finish it. Uh, yeah, when you say it, it ended abruptly. I'm well, kinda, it just I ended long. Remember. It was weird. It was uh, what else did we have? We had Brian Danielson versus Roosh. Yes. That was, oh my. Oh yeah, that was God. good because that was a fucking brutal yeah. match. Brian has I put like on the good. best matches. I thought like those guys are really giving each other a couple hard fucking hits yeah that's how and, brian is and then like 
they're giving each other receipts back. Like, okay, you want to hit that hard? Here's a, here's one back. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> dude. Like, it, Brian Danielson's blood splattered the camera. Yeah. Yes. It was everywhere. I loved it. I loved it. The fucking tag title match, which was like, I knew what was going to happen, but I felt like everybody really thought, no, the Acclaim is going to get another win on top of these guys. And I'm like, uh-uh-uh, we are now in the new era of AEW, which is they changed their branding, and now the uh, you know the TV looks different. It's got that oh, red and blue. Dude, and that, the fucking uh, water, there was a water thing up Jesus there Christ. that the fucking spider had to attack. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't see it either. Me neither. Um, I'm but like, like, it's on screen for a reason, though. I like I like that they uh, I like that they've switched over to like a real wrestling program where the faces are now chasing these heels. It's gonna elevate all of these people because even though the acclaim rule as the tag team champions, yes. they've had a good run. Oh, the guns and the acclaimed that was a great match. Yes, because the I love this drama with Billy being the dad in between who yeah. doesn't want to pick a side. His <laughs> yes. real sons like are his adopted. His, his real sons are so shitty that he's dumped them and adopted these other kids yeah. who were way cooler. But I like these shitty new sons. Like, I like that the guns are all pissed off and, like, trying to make their dad upset. You yeah, know? and fucking, I love that they're heels. I love that I there's love character development with these guys who were nothing but ass boys yeah. three, four months ago, which, again, was getting them over it was. at the time. And then it, now they're transitioning into this... Uh, oh, little spiders? Into this uh, fucking world. But, like... Again, I like <laughs> I like all the booking. I like the Cargill booking as well for the TBS Championship. I think she's still fucking phenomenal. Samoa Joe and his booking. Oh my god! Oh, that last that's show. That's gonna be so fucking cool. The the Samoa Joe Darby like uh, the final match or whatever. Yeah. There was a point where Samoa Joe like threw Darby and he just skipped over the steel steps like a stone. Yeah. And then Landed went into the, the audience like. Bing, bong. Like he just didn't didn't make contact with the ground. It was just ding 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 ding. Yep. He just he skipped like steel steps, barricade, and then some fucking uh, three hundred pound person in the front row. I'm getting horny now just thinking about fucking it. beautiful, beautiful move. Again, each match these are free TV matches. <laughs> All these matches were on TV for free last week, and then their pay per views. The only complaint that I have about them is that I can't do five hours of wrestling bro like i cannot watch a four-hour show and the buy-in yeah but i like watching it live because yeah. i love it yeah i yeah, love yeah. it that much so revolution like actually i'll be out of town but otherwise i would have totally been like let's get more. together and, we'll, and fucking watch that um but man what a i am what, what i am very week. very excited for revolution very excited for that 60 minute iron man match just because uh, just because MJF freaked the fuck out, knowing that it's actually gonna happen now. Yeah. Yes. Sixty minute. That's uh, gonna be fucking great, and that's Brian Danielson's bread and butter, right? Well, yeah, and I yeah. And, I, and I think that people are gonna be. I said this um, on Big Dogs, but I think that people are going to be very, very surprised at how good MJF is. The sure. thing that oh, makes MJF I... so good is that he actually can, actually can back up what he says. All the fact that he talking. chooses to take shortcuts is what makes him a son of a bitch. And that's why yeah. when he gets over on Brian by cheating and we are pissed off about it, it's going to be even better. He's going to last the 60 minutes, and he's going to get more wins over <laughs> Brian, and everybody is going to be mad, and the IWC is going to be on the fucking internet the next day crying about it. Crying. And he knows that because he is statue. a goddamn generational talent, and you have you have only begun to see how good this guy is. I, I, that I was it. all the... Uh, the the comments I saw for the uh, match with Takesha, all these comments are saying, wow, MJF is a really good wrestler. It's like, yeah, I mean, fucking course he is. Yeah, of course he is. He, he is he's very good. And, and that's the whole, that's his character, you is you don't have to do this. Like, you don't have to do this. That's his character. You don't have to do this to win, so why are you? Because I fucking can. And that's what makes him a great heel. <laughs> He's still pulling out that dynamite diamond ring all the time. Yeah! And, uh, I will say, when he pulled it out to use on Takeshita at the end of their match, yeah. uh, 
It was like the most obvious. Yes. Uh, Takeshita handing the blade to the referee. The referee handing it to him. At both of them. You saw it go back to the ref you after did? the match, too. It, it was like out in the open close up oh. on him, and he's holding a little white piece of tape in his hand. He's looking at it, and then he just goes, like, here you go, and gives it to Paul Turner. Because I, I saw the the referee pulled it out of his pocket and Dude, put the gloves on. Both of them and were then like, handed it to him, and you see him kind of like take it. They were put both it in his the tights. Worst. Then he got hit with it, and then you see him go back to his tights and go. Dude. Yeah. It was. But you know that what? Blading, that blading was like the worst. But yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't care. I know they're blading anyway, but it was just like, wow, I saw it given to him and I saw him give it to their back. Hell uh, yeah, dude. I just say bust open the hard way like Moxley always Jesus does. Jesus Christ. But yeah, so so yeah, the other one, I, I'm sure we've cut off like six of your points right now. But what what was uh, what was some of the things <laughs> that you wanted to say that it really excited about you about last week's last rampage? Week? Oh, it was just so much that happened last rampage. Like, it was, like, mainly just, you know, all the Mac stuff, just because, like, I'll admit, I'm a giant Mac mark. I don't care. Sure. Mm. Yeah, we got a he lot. Fucking hit me in the face, and I'll just thank him. We got a lot of MJF, too, which was good. Yes. We did, we did. And I'm thinking, like, I, I don't know if I'm, like, because I'm seeing the, the discourse around if, Punk is going to come back for Revolution, mm. and I'm seeing the scale is sort of tipping more for yes, he is. Yeah. I Just, I would so love that it. Is I, 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 I'm not going to guess what one I way. I personally would love to see. I really have no, like, man match, like, guess yes or no, one way or another, but I would love it if he did come back. Yes. I'm ready. I would love it too. I was saying because fuck him. After I heard about the fight and everything, remember that that uh -huh, week? Uh -huh. I was like, yo, fuck him. We don't uh -huh. need him. But I'm ready for him to be back now. Yeah. Isn't that funny how that works? Yeah. Isn't that funny that I've been yelling that since it happened? Yeah. No, Brian. No, he's that. Are you serious? There's no way he's going to come back after what he did. Well, not Ooh, that soon. No. But it's been... It's he, been long he enough. He can't come back to this company anymore. There's no way. He got into a fight with the EVPs. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is what Punk always does. And I'm sitting there going, uh-huh, uh-huh. This is pro wrestling. I don't know why you guys are fucking yeah, buying. There's money on the table. Why are you fucking buying all this bullshit? Doesn't it make more sense? Oh, weird how they're saying, oh, yeah, this is actually about the time that his tricep surgery heal healing would be uh, would be oh. coming up. And I'm like, do you think oh. the fight? Do you think the fight in the back room was all... Uh, fucking sh work on us. These on the smart marks. These carny motherfuckers are going to I do as do much that. as they can to work you mark ass bitches <laughs> down to the point of yes, making it look bad on their wrestling company. Ooh, that two people had a fucking fight backstage. The yeah. gossip fucking mill of the world. I bet the real fight was Roosh and it just happened to happen after the fake fight yes, of Punk and John and yes, Omega. Yes, that was the real fight because you don't <laughs> fucking put it on Front Street. If yeah. you have real internal issues and your company's that fucked up. And Roosh company, only sat out one week. Yeah, your company doesn't run. You don't have week to week shows. Yeah. But they know they know, they know that people love gossip because it's pro wrestling. <laughs> Do you see me on the fucking back it's of the great. tarantula? Like, it's great. Woo! But like, it, like for everyone to say like, oh, but Meltzer's saying, and I'm like, yeah, because Meltzer doesn't Meltzer's make in on it. Meltzer doesn't make money off of the uh, the internet wrestling community being fucking. Uh, evangelized one way or another. Are you fucking serious? This guy works in pro wrestling. When it talk, when he talks about pro wrestling, assume part of it is kayfabe. You know, he he may know some of the the, the dirty little secrets, maybe, but like, Jesus fucking Christ, like people, d yeah. don't be this naive. Well, and, we'll see. But it's cool. Do you, do you think it's happening at Revolution then? I think at, I think it might be Revolution. Uh, or but, after. But, I, again, I think he's coming back with that gimmick of, like, you guys tried to take me out. Yeah. And I'm here. Hey I'm still on contract. Someone. You need me. And then he can do his, uh, you know, his match with MJF, free match for the title or sure. whatever. And then MJF can get a win off of, off of Punk, too. Or who knows? Who knows? But the idea uh. is, like, I don't think CM Punk, or I don't, I just don't think he's the type of person... You don't get anywhere in this world if you're the type of person that actually fights people, you know? And, like, the whole circumstances around it sure. were all, like, 
so strange and there's bite marks and all this thing. You might have, like, you know, yeah, who knows? Buck super kicked the door down. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like people are saying that and I'm like, I don't know. You how guys. How do you know that he super kicked the door? How does, yeah, how does anybody know this shit? And honestly, like, that doesn't happen anywhere. Like, people who work together, it's still a company. Like, this is still a business. So people don't just... Well, people don't like each other, though. And, and it makes sense that, like, you know, people say he came in the gym with... Or he came in the locker room with an attitude that, you know, they weren't happy with. And Sure. So far, the, the only people I've seen who's actually really had a problem with him is Jericho. Like, everyone else has had nothing but nice things to say about him. Yeah. But maybe Jericho's fucking playing us. Yeah, again, Jericho is great at playing it. Yeah, he, Jericho doesn't like anybody who's a threat to him, so of course he doesn't like him. And yeah. it works perfectly. Again, they can Well, also... Jericho kind of jumped into Cody's shoes, I feel like, with the company. Yes. And, like, he's become the ambassador, the old head who's, like, in charge now. Yeah, yeah. He kind of has his own, like, his own sway. And, 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 I mean, he always has. He's one of the <laughs> core directors of, of where AEW goes. I think it's so goofy what we're doing with the other old head, uh, Dusty Rhodes. Yeah. Uh, in... Um, the Swerve storyline. It's like we've got nothing for Swerve and his two henchmen to do. Uh, give him Dustin Rhodes. Oh, really? The natural. Oh, I just feel like that's such a. Oh, what have we been doing with Swerve? We're building up these two minions for him to be. What is it? What is their thing? I don't get their thing. What are they called? The not the. the it's some the rap, conglomerate the conglomerate, some it. triangle thing on their. Uh, I don't know. Dusty was making fun of it too <laughs> on their hoodies. Yeah. That one dude I just don't Mogul ever want to look at. Mogul Enterprises? Or I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. The Mogul, Something yeah. Enterprises. Either way, I'm, I mean, I'm for it. Whatever. It, I it, like again, seeing Dusty wrestle, so. Yeah. The more more screen time he gets, the better. This, I, and I think this is the last year he's wrestling, so get people, okay. over, get people over as you can. Yeah, give him something big to go out on. Yeah. You know, they take down the legend like uh, Dustin Rhodes, then they, you know. If it puts Swerve over, but I was already super over on him and Keith Lee. and mm -hmm. This is kind of not ready for that to end yet, I guess. Well, what I like oh, about AEW is that they book their they book their stories in advance. They start without it just being a random match. Like on WWE, it would just be a random match starts a feud. Yeah. You know, like we'll somebody, see where this goes. somebody loses to this guy. They don't like it, so now they have a personal problem with them. Like... Things start happening backstage yeah. sometimes in AEW, and then while other things are happening in the ring, you don't see these people that you ever touch in the ring. Instead, you see them have this heat in the backstage. In the back backstage. Room. Yeah. Yeah. I do so, like as well that, oh, um, missed. like, you know, social media kind of adds as, I guess, supplementary material yep. as well. Yep. Right. Everyone's got stuff on their Instagrams and everything else. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I really liked uh, that last match that uh, Top Flight and AR Fox had against the elite that, yeah that trios tag. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was a really good match. that was ar fox i mean the the uh the top flight brothers are fantastic but man ar fox is fucking one of my favorite new wrestlers in the company yeah um he's been he's been phenomenal his awesome. whole career awesome awesome dude that's like the kind of move set i would love to learn i i think i used to watch this guy wrestle in pwg probably i mean he might have also been in... Oh, shit. Where am I going here? Let me see. Let me see where, where he wrestled that. Because his name has been around forever. He's been in CZW. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Uh, I'm, like, stuck. Also, I have almost no help. Dude, yeah. Dragon Gate. This, oh, this dude was a Dragon Gate? Oh, I'm yeah. thinking, of, I'm thinking of a Dragon... I'm thinking a Bad Dragon Con. <laughs> AR <laughs> Fox was in Lucha Oops. Underground. Okay, that that may be the first exposure to AR Fox that I had was Lucha Underground. Then um, that, that probably sounds I'm, right. I'm legit stuck. Oh, can't move. Can't get out of wherever. The get fuck, out. Wherever the fuck I am. Oh wait. Yeah, spider. Yep, they were in PWG. Okay, there we go. Yep. I remember seeing them in PWG too. I can move Inner again. Inner city machine guns. I can move again. I have asthma. I have asthma. It's one of my favorite Sean lines. From <laughs> I any, love that too. Anything. Anything. Brought to you by <laughs> Pfizer. I can move again. <laughs> Brought to you by Pfizer. I love it because weren't all of those just Sean dicking around? Like he had other lines and then he like threw that in for I fun. I don't know. I don't even remember what video that's from. That is from... 
GDC, one of the pitches that we did, one of the, because the idea was that we would, we had like three different pitches for oh, GDC. Oh, for Rocco's dad. Yeah, yeah. For a GDC video. Yeah. yeah. He was the CEO or whatever. And this one was like the, the nerdy hacking approach. Yeah. And Hackers uh, at the, oh yeah, we filmed that at my local, I asked my local comic book shop if we could film in there one afternoon. Oh yeah. At comics and stuff. That's Bonnie, fun. Bonnie hooked it up. That's fucking cool. I, yeah, I love that line. That was like, uh, <laughs> got five terabytes and nine inch nails. <laughs> we got, uh, it, what was it? It was like, uh, something. Buckle, <laughs> enough buckles and belts, and it was, yeah. Yeah, if you're not buckling for 20 minutes, don't show up. Don't show up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was, that was a fun time. Uh, like, shooting that video was a fun time. But yeah, Chloe. Um, so, needless to say, uh, you've been you've been really enjoying AEW wrestling. Yes, I have been enjoying AEW wrestling. I never thought in a million years I would ever actually like watch wrestling. But <laughs> here I am. We. Uh... I'm, I'm essentially, I, I like it just because it's it's the most anime bullshit ever, except it's. Yeah, you know, live action. Uh -huh. I really that's what it is. It's just anime. Yep. I will say that that the more it became anime and stuff in the recent years, the more I've enjoyed it. Like yes. I got I got into it in in the I don't know twenty fifteens with Brian and Eric watching WWE. Oh yeah, that was even twenty twelve. <laughs> yeah. So and even then it was like God, I made fun of this stuff when I was a little kid. Like it's crazy that I'm interested in it. But then I totally fell off until it's this new company. I mean, it's it's really AEW is what's fun about wrestling for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and that and then like the indie stuff that like we used to do with Super Awesome, uh, and, and all my friends that I'm training with now. Really, that's that's really the fun of it. As I'm glad that I got into watching wrestling again through Derek and Johnny on tour because now I've found this new love of training. Yeah, um, which is great. Which is which is yes. I'm enjoying so much more than actually watching wrestling. <laughs> yeah, supposed to be a whole different thing for you because like you're actually doing. It. It's it's uh yeah it's 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 fun and I, I was telling my friends that I was wrestling with like man I'm not this was like about six months ago I was like I'd kind of fallen off watching and uh, I was having so much fun training I wasn't really getting a lot out of watching it. But they told me like, yeah, but you should keep watching. Yeah. Because like you'll be inspired and you'll you'll see Oh, I just died so I can use that. It was an instant revive. Um The Red Hot Shot is an instant revive. Yeah. Well it gives you the option, which is Yeah, nice. which that's cool. But I I really like the fact that uh they told me like, yo, keep watching. Yeah. Because you will be inspired and you'll see You'll see through the matrix. You'll see the blonde redhead and this and that. And I see that now. I'm yeah. like, oh yeah, here's those four building blocks that they're just doing at the yep. start of every match. Oh, here's his, here's his major heat. Here's uh, yep. that heals uh, or here's that face's major comeback. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, here's the finish. Like I can see now the seven steps laid out and like all the things I'm learning, seeing them implemented on a screen worthy match is like okay. It is important. One to of these watching. days, we're gonna see one dark. I predict it. You know, the goal is unknown at this point. Still, the journey is the reason I'm doing it. So, <laughs> I have so much fun getting into the ring every Tuesday. And um, if that's all that it ever is, then that's Strider. why. That's why I'm doing it. Yeah, it's, I'm glad you're doing it. It's <laughs> fun really, to hear about it every week. Honestly, there really is no like real big end goal but yeah. chloe wants to see yeah, me on dark a good way to chloe wants to see me on dark i wouldn't <laughs> say i wouldn't uh you know show up as a valet at some point it might, happen. Knows. might happen might happen might have to take a single move you know stranger things have happened stranger things dan housen could curse me it'd be great i'd love it yeah i want dan housen to curse firehouse or funhouse so that they'd be called funhouse <laughs> the other one I mean, oh yeah James wrestles. Or, yeah. He's like a weekend warrior, Eric told me. Yeah, or he did at least. I don't know if he still does. Um, but I think Eric also is... Uh, shit, I just popped in my head. I think he's... 
Is it oh, tomorrow? On Thursday, he's going to be doing Ooh. some stream with James and Sky again oh, on his channel. Scorpio Sometime, Sky's back on? Sometime soon. Eric's going to do something with, I, uh, with both of them. He, he said it on Big Dogs like two weeks ago. I really do miss Scorpio Sky from A-Dubs. Yeah, he was injured for a bit. I know. It was a bummer. I mean, we got to see him in his big last performance at Vegas uh, for the oh yeah for the the, uh, the pay-per-view there. you were there for that yeah he passed the strap though the Lakers colors. oh yeah he, he, he. What oh, are you, dude I'm Goldie that's what he called it doing this hey Jared's here yeah getting together tomorrow wow that was... is Jared going to a, a show tomorrow and there's so many shows Jared and Eric go to in Austin yeah they go to AAPW it's they go crazy. to others I, I think there's a show locally here Sunday, uh, our local promotion in San Diego. I think the only one that I know about is uh, there's a school called um, – oh, I can't remember it now. Fuck, I'm going to die. There's a, there's a Lucha. Level Up. There's a, there's a school called Level Up. Come on. Oh, she already fucking died. God damn it. Um, there's a uh, Lucha show, I think, on Saturday. Oh, where is that? Uh, somewhere in Spring Valley. Oh, really? Yeah. That's where I train. That's so funny. Yeah, I know. That's why I thought about it. I'm like, what the fuck is it uh, doing here? So there's a there's a, a level up show in El Cajon on Sunday. That's cool. I was thinking about going to that one. Damn. Yeah, you'll be off because you have the. Uh... Well, we well, I'll have to leave early for the. I'll probably miss the main match for the podcast. Oh right, right. The the board games fest is. Oh wait. Is it no, next that's weekend? this. No, you're right. This uh, we won't have a podcast this Sunday because Board Game Olympics are Saturday. That's right. That's okay, right. Okay. Brian, can I pause real quick? And yes. Chloe, can we tell you about the Board Game Olympics? I'm sorry, the Olympic Board Games. <laughs> Take that from the top. That's right. Saturday, February 18th. The fun starts at noon Pacific. That's right. Mob G 2023. Will I win the trophy once again? Find out Saturday. Hey now. Yeah, tune in. It's going to be a fun time. Shut those drums. You know, What's with those it. drums? <laughs> Refrain, okay, don't sustain. Sorry, the drums were on. But yeah, uh, Mob G 2023, <laughs> baby. It actually rhymes now. I can't wait, man. A uh, lot of stuff. And if you check all our social medias, you can see that the entire schedule is already up. Hell yeah. You can expect the unexpected as uh, who knows how long some of these games go. A nice D&D &D session at the end of the night to kind of like ease you into the weekend. So mm -hmm. uh, tune in Saturday. Again, everything starts at noon. Uh, Chloe, I hope you'll be there as well. Oh, you, kn you know I'll be there. So stoked. So stoked. Hell yeah, uh, dude. <clears throat> okay, I got that out of the way. So yeah, I guess... I guess I'm free on Sunday because we usually typically don't do a podcast if we're going to be streaming all Saturday. Yeah, kind of makes sense. <laughs> got to have a day off. Got to yeah, see a day gotta off. Got to try pickle. Well, Chloe, thank you for uh, for calling in with a great discussion. Yeah, I love it. I do always no enjoy problem. talking wrestling. Hell yeah! I am yeah. so so um, bummed. This Saturday or this Tuesday, it fucking rained again, so we had to cancel uh, fucking training. You guys had a. It's, it's rained every fucking Tuesday in the last two months. You need a you need an easy up on top of the ring or something. I know. The problem is like, once any moisture, I just wasted a lollipop. Once any moisture gets on the ring, after the sun goes down, it will not dry. Yeah. So you mop it up, but it doesn't matter. It's still slippery. Right. There's no water there, but it's it's slick. It's yeah. slick. Yeah. Can you cover the ring when it rains? We like do. It... We have a, a tarp over the ring that we take off, but it's. The humidity in the air is all oh. it's so fucking moist in the air after it rains. Damn. Or during it rains. Maybe some baby powder in a vacuum afterwards. I mean, we're already suffering from, like, it gets dark half hour into training, yeah, so Jesus I've got Christ. lights set up. I got two big-ass construction lights. It's coming back, though. Yeah, Daylight lights are savings. coming back. It is going to be... 
what, March 12th. So less than a month away, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back to the real time, and I oh. wish they would fucking keep it that way. This well, th fucking... thank you again, Chloe, and again, keep up, keep up all the fucking great art, and yeah, stay, stay cool out there. I know it's hot as shit right now in, in Australia. Australia. Hot as fucking shit. Really? <laughs> like it's gonna be 39 degrees Celsius tomorrow. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Probably I don't want to know. Probably 90, maybe 100. Uh, let's see, 39 C to F, 102. 102 Fahrenheit for those uh, on the Imperial system. Well, hell yeah, Chloe. Any uh, parting words for us? Oh, shit, my... Oh, uh, just thanks for always... Don't give her a chance to say spin the wheel, Brian. I really appreciate it. Brian, hang up. Don't give her a chance to say spin the wheel. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, she almost got it in there. Brian. I don't think she was going to say it. No, I think you reminded I knew. her. I knew. I knew she was going to get it in there. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Chloe. You, uh, Chloe rules. You said thank you for letting you come in here, but thank you for calling in here. We couldn't have done it without you. So, look at two strikes against me. Fuck. I wonder what happens when I get a third. I gotta pay attention to this boss because I can't do it while I do other shit. So, okay. Dodge. There we go. Get some fucking hits in. Do another dodge. Get some fucking hits in. Get ready for the dodge. Uh, break free. Holy hell. Okay, she died on the last fucking time I fought this guy. It actually showed her, like, dead. Like, you can't summon this tall bitch anymore. We don't want that. She keeps blowing out her kisses. Okay, get ready for the dodge. Missed it. Dodge again. Son missed it. Bitch. Dodge there. Got it. Come on, give me the combos. Oh, hell. Wait for the dodge. Nope. Damn. Damn. I don't remember the first game being this tricky. Well, it's just this boss. I don't know I how. I just remember having to it. wait and do. I think I, what ended up happening was that. I just don't know his attack pattern. What I like guy. about this game is how visually like pretty it is. And it's uh, really uh, fun to watch. Ah, uh, fuck. Sorry. Oh, that's okay fucking screaming like an asshole uh but i remember feeling like the combat was super like kind of repetitive and similar because all you do is just wait to do a witch time yeah and then you do the attack and then you kind of dodge and do your little like whatever in between but yeah there's like no meter on your witch time some guys do it oh here's a trap yeah and then you do like Torture a finish. trap so I'm not I'm not digging it uh, or like saying it's bad. I know it is a challenging game. It's like Devil May Cry though. I feel like that combat can get very repetitive too. See, Devil May Cry, I feel like, it, it, well, again, both games uh, reward you for doing stylish attacks. So that's that's kind of the point. It's to do variations. The Moon Gate shall defeat our beast. The oh. ravens will pick your bones clean. This thing's really putting me through the ringer. Yeah. Dude, I forgot that they're doing another Alice game. Oh, right. Southpaw Tattoo in the chat said, uh, fucking bringing fucking it up. Again? Another, like, what was that? Alice, American McGee's Alice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a third one? They've been, uh, they've been developing it. Damn. Um, but I don't know if it ever came or, you know, the or got, like, funded. The first and the second were on get, uh, Xbox Game Pass. So it yeah. was cool because, like, I never got to play that on PC, and I always wanted to play the first one. Yeah. And uh, watching Trish play through, I was kind of glad I never played it. <laughs> it's just a platformer from, like, a different time. The first one. The second one was uh, a little better. But uh, interesting. There is a third one being made. Wow, I had yeah. no idea. Ah, fuck you, claw freak. I'm going to heal up while I have a chance. Nope. What does this do? Oh, you can recipe shit? Oh, can I make one of these? Add. How many do I add? Ten? Ten. Uh, sure. There's still no... Ten of those and zero of those. There is still no announced date for this. It's just something that they're trying to get to happen. I think. That's what I feel like has been the case with that franchise. Like, for all its... <laughs> As long as it's been around, I feel like they're always trying to make it get that thing to. It's like a very cult classic. Yeah. Kickstarter kind of thing or what? 
for the third one. Yeah, Kickstarter or Patreon. Yeah. Hello. I caught your claw, you motherfucker. Oh, Brian, dude, I'm getting low on my um, protein. Yeah, my, I was going to say. My blood sugar's Might dipping, dude. You ready for a protein shake? Fuck yeah, dude. Okay, dude. Let's get it. Let's get it popping. This cutscene's playing out. All now, this talk about wrestling, we got to get you bulked up. Yeah, I, I, I am in a bulk. I am in a bulking phase right now. Hey, guys. Yeah. So I got, uh, I, I like, George. me and George like this optimum nutrition uh, gold standard way. It's uh, micronized. It uh, it's 100% whey protein. Oh, okay. Um, you know, it's got 5.5 branch chain amino acids in there too. So you don't need to take a separate BCAA supplement. Oh. And then I got another supplement here, Brian. I don't know. Did you bring this? What is this? Did you Dude. bring this one? Oh, fuck. Where did this come from? Where'd you I don't... find that? We're gonna put this. I lost in that the... two weeks ago. We're gonna put this into. Uh, oh, no, this is creatine. I just didn't bring the whole tub. For oh. Home. That's creatine. Oh. So I usually, when I make my protein shake, I put my creatine in there, too. Um, we got the bullet. We got uh, milk in the fridge. I'm going to go get that in just a second. Milk in the fridge. Uh, I don't know why I thought that was hot, funny. Hot pizzas here. <laughs> cold milk in the fridge. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that is funny. <clears throat> that's... Uh, um, Pizza's here, pizza's right now here. Cold, Cold soda in, in the fridge. The fridge. Yeah. What, is that a Tim and Eric? That's a Tim and Eric thing, yeah. Jesus. So, someone, I think it was Justin or Pants the other day, tweeted at me. He's like, I'm a little late to this, but from the behind the scenes of Ava in five minutes, yeah. I'm putting Sean's left and right like cross arms on when he was Lilith on the cross. Yeah. And I'm like, this is your left. That's your left. This is your right. You're going to die. Which was a thing from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> He's like, I uh, love this ATHF reference. And I'm like, uh, oh, fuck. I forgot. That's when me was watching TV and the pup, the Marcus puppet is like bowling and that yeah. song plays. <gasps> so much shit like that. Like, I don't even remember what it's from. But um, Me too. We're going to take a quick break. Actually, I'm just going to give ah. Brian. Brian? Yeah. It, this is a segment called 220s and My Change. Oh, okay. And it's a, it's a Brian React. Can you hear me okay? Uh-huh. Okay, there was chocolate milk there. Um, I was at the drive through window about 15 minutes ago. Hmm? Are you the one working the drive through window? Nope, I'm the manager. Can I talk to the guy working the drive through I There's been a mistake with some money. Well, what happened? Well, I gave him a 20, and he gave me, I think he gave me two 20s back and my change. And I'd like to bring it back. Oh, no problem. I give you change? No, 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 no. I, it's just with him. I don't want to talk to you, cocksucker. I want I want to give him his money back. No one else is getting this money but the guy who made the mistake. <laughs> Excuse me. My question is to you, why are you calling me a cocksucker? No, no. I'm not talking to you then. I, I, okay, well, um... I'm just saying I got to give him his money back, fuckhead. <laughs> okay, and I don't want you guys oh, to come up short. Fine. No problem. Can I bring it in? What time are you guys going to close till? We feel it till 11. Till 11, you piece of shit. Okay, I'll bring it in. Thanks for your help, okay? <laughs> piece of shit. Oh, God. Uh, my question is to you, why you call me cocksucker? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh... Um, oh, God. Here we go, Brian. So here's, here's always... Uh, put a little liquid down. Yeah, a little liquid keep, bottom. Yeah, liquid bottom to keep the powders from sticking. You know, the magic bullet is made in an aerodynamic uh, kind of way yeah. to where uh, the centrifugal force of the blender will, will, will pretty much clean anything off the bottom, but a little liquid at the bottom is recommended. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm making a double... I don't go single. 50? Right. No one needs 50. What do we need? Oh, no one needs 25 grams we need 50 grams it smells good oh vanilla yeah ice it, smell, cream? it smells like cake powder yeah, or it's, it's a cake stuff. batter you know i uh whenever i go to knott's berry farm i pick up a bottle of their concentrate no oh, poisonberry concentrate that's a good idea i throw it in there with this and then it's not a vanilla shake it's like a boysenberry uh, but i'll mix up the flavors that way also starbucks sells that uh that that chai tea concentrate Oh, that was, yeah. I throw that in there sometimes, then it gives it like a, a little spicy vibe. Okay, here's the uh, Colombian marching powder mm -hmm. or creatine, as it's called. That's just a brand name I use. I don't Pervert. Know. 
You know, I did. I I was influenced by Danhausen to buy his pre workout from BPI. Really? Yeah, I have. I have Danhausen as a pre workout. Oh yeah, I have Sandy. I have a sorry. I have sour Candyhausen flavored. Uh, wow. Pre workout. Okay. So there's the two scoops. So that's fifty grams. We're gonna split this though, so it'll be twenty five for each of us. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, let's pour a little more milk. Yeah, up to I, the I gotta get line. yoked out. Now oh, yeah, sometimes. Dude. I don't make it with milk. I'll make it with half and half because I want a lot of fat in my diet yeah, right now. Yeah, of course. And uh, that is really up. creamy, really good. But you do kind of have to run straight to the bathroom sometimes if yeah. you eat it on an empty stomach. Yeah. So if you have any dairy kind of aversions, you know, it's, it's a lot. But Now, I always wondered, can you like... And that's about all you need, a little buzz buzz. Oh, that's it? I guess when you have a high power little... You know, and I just throw this. Bullet. I just throw this in my bag, and I come to work, and then I I take the blender off. Kevin was laughing at me the other day. He's like, "Do you have the? You don't put the lid on. You just bring the blender lid." I'm like, "Yeah." Why would I unscrew it? One extra step. One extra thing to wash. Yeah, I'm just. I'm gonna drink out of the top anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But for this, I'll be civilized. We'll split it into cups. <laughs> Cheers, mate. All right. Here's to you. Here's to our health. Here's to our help. I'm going to get 25 grams of protein. Here's to our bulk. Plus a little more from little, the milk in here. A little tell bulk me, up. Tell me what you think. Have a sip, Brian. Mmm. Smells like cookies. Hey, guys. This is George. <gasps> That's good, man. Brother. It's like a milkshake. Brother. Brother. It's a delicious milkshake, right? It's, like, it's very, yeah, it's very, like, malty. Mm -hmm. I would just drink this for fun. Would I just grow, like, gain protein that way or no? Well, you'd be drinking, um... You'd be just drinking, you know, protein on top of what you're also eating. So if you're eating about 50, a carne asada burrito, about 50 grams of protein. Oh, okay. You eat a carne asada burrito and you make one of these shakes, which, you know, probably double what you're drinking there, the whole thing. Right. That you just put in 100 grams. Okay. You could do that twice a day and then you would be gaining, if you're lifting heavy weights, at, okay. le at least every other day. Yeah, you'd be you'd be getting bigger. Okay. You'd be putting on some mass. Now that's a lot of protein for most people. Yeah. Two hundred grams, or your body weight at, is kind of the the, the starting point. Oh. Okay. At least that's what my trainer put me on, and I was not used to eating that much food. Yeah, that would be one hundred and eighty-eight grams of protein a day. And me. that's what I try to hit. I'm supposed to hit two hundred. I can't. I wow. can't hit two hundred every day. Wow. I can. I can. Try That's by a lot of protein by like midnight. I can and it's fucking expensive because this bag. Yeah, this is like thirty five bucks. How many? How often are you buying that? I'm bag? buying this every three weeks. Fuck. Every every two weeks. Can maybe? you get it on Amazon subscription for cheaper? <laughs> maybe a couple bucks, but I, I <laughs> bodybuilding.com. That's where yeah. I used to get my shit. You know, a couple bucks, but but not not. The grocery stores are kind of the same. Yeah. Tar Target has this shit too. Yeah. That well. It, this tastes good. Just don't go to GNC, right? No, oh, fuck, dude. If you want to get, if you want to get, get rated. Off. Um, Nutris, Nutramart, I heard, is the good spot to go. Nutramart has the good supplements that are on the shelf just until they're not because they get uh, banned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like everything that works is eventually on the product shelf for about six months and then it gets banned. Oh, weird. It came back with under a new name. That was good. That mm -hmm. was. If you're looking for a meal replacement too, it's like. I was just about to say so that. Easy. I was saying like that reminds me of like an insure or something like that, but it, this was like really tasty. Meal replacement. Huh? It's the same thing. Yeah, insure is uh, basically. Oh, is that basically what Soylent thing. was? Is that what people yeah. did? Yeah, uh, exactly. Soylent was something like this, but you know, this has protein and branch chain amino acids in it. Okay. Because that's something BCAAs are, are building blocks for muscle. Yeah, muscle development. Right. So you know, and on top of that, I'm putting we put creatine in ours. Okay. Um, and creatine helps by uh, muscle recovery, yes. so you can work it out harder the next day without it being sore. That's what I remember. I used I used to do creatine when I when I worked out. I did creatine, but I never did the the um, the protein. You gotta drink a lot of water. Yeah. I, see, me too. When I used to work out, it was just try to eat a lot. Yeah. But I thought I was eating a lot, and I had no idea. Yeah. And I wasn't eating all protein, which is the most important thing. Which blows my mind that it can come from something like a dairy, like whey. 
Yeah. Is, oh yeah. Is a dairy product. Oh yeah. Um, Lots of protein in dairy products, man. It's crazy. I wish I could eat 200. I know grams, were... but it, it's better for you to eat it. Yeah. All, but it's it, it doesn't absorb as good. Mm. And if you drank like a hundred grams all at once, you'd probably piss half of it out. Mm. It just wouldn't absorb into your system because you're flooding your system. Right. Everyone's so you have to do it over like different. five, six times a day or, or, or like or, meals. For me, I don't have more than 250 gram shakes a day. Gotcha. Okay. I try to eat at least 150 uh, in actual food. Yeah. And then I'll make 50 of it up in protein shakes. Damn. If okay. I can, if, but, but usually I can't do that and I have to make up. Or I have to either come under, or I have to have a second protein shake at the end of the night. Just force it down to get that in, get the get just to get my numbers up. Damn, man. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. What? Well, so but I don't know. There's no end goal to this either. Well, There's, I mean, you're just getting you're kind of getting into ring shape, even if that's yeah. just the goal. Well, like, it's like it, it's interesting because there was no end goal with the wrestling, but that turned me into a bodybuilder. Yeah. And now there's no end goal with the bodybuilding. I just want to keep doing both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, it's, these Which are new they're hobbies. they're each other. Yeah, they're just new hobbies you like to do. I exactly. And, and that's great, man. At the like, expense of my old hobbies. Well, hey, honestly, if they're giving you more joy than the old hobbies, then yeah. As much as I love playing games, there are some times where, you know, I'm, I'm surrounded by video games like 60 hours a week. I know, and when we stream and like, yeah. You know, like if the, when, I, when there's something I'm really excited for, like, that's all I want to do, and sometimes that is video games. But other times, it's other shit I want to do, and a lot of times I play video games because I would be just bored and looking for something. Yeah. Um, but, like, now I'm like, okay, well, instead, when you're bored, do something that could benefit me as well. And then, yeah, you can still play video games, but wait until you're, like, super stoked on shit. That's why my backlog is erased. Oh, it's see, just, yeah, you, you've cleaned out your backlog. That's something, like, I... I can't imagine ever doing it. Well, I just don't have a backlog. I, I mean, just... my backlog goes to the 360. See, that's what I mean. There are games <laughs> I will never play. That's it. Yeah. There are games I'm, I, I I accept it. Oh, what I think just you just happened? got to a new area. Oh, okay. That's the coordinates. But no, I, I'm like, I, I have acceptance. In, in my 36 years, I've learned that I'm not going to play every Starbucks? game. I'm not going to watch every movie. Oh, look I'm, this, look I, at the fake Starbucks logo. <laughs> Cersei, what does it say? Per Perseus. Ah. Uh, but you know, like that that kind of thing is not gonna happen. And so what did I do? Sure. If I wanted to do that, then I should find a way for it to be beneficial for me. And that's how we came up with KLBR. With streaming, yeah. Two same. years of doing that and the same thing I think for you doing it on the PBS. PBS. Totally was that, yeah. It was like ah oh, I can I can finally do something with all these old games yeah. I'm collecting and archiving. That's why we play so much retro shit here. Oh, it's this dude from Bayo too. Oh. He hasn't showed up in the story yet. Oh, he hadn't? Nah. Looks like Lewis from uh, Resident Evil 4. Resident 4, yeah. Which is coming out in month. God damn, that's so close. But see what I mean? Like that. So here's a great example. And I, and I said this at the time. But if people are wondering what I mean by I don't have a backlog, when I know there's a game that I want to play that's coming out, I prioritize that game over every other game. So Callisto Protocol was my game to check out last year. Even though I know I really, really want to play uh, God of War Ragnarok at some point. And I will. Because oh, I know. See, I got that sitting sealed, too. But, Stupidly bought that. Yeah. And and so that's why I didn't buy it. Because if I bought it, I would have felt compelled to pop it in. Then I would have popped it in. And then I would have maybe ignored my favorite game of, the, of last year, Callisto Protocol. That's true. I like Bayonetta. Like, I bought it. And I was like, ah, I played, you know. We started, what, a, a, a fucking half hour into the game this yeah. this stream that's as much as i got this thing came out last year yeah and that's fine i mean it came out late last year but, but it, it came out with so much other shit callisto yeah. protocol and the fucking god of war and like this is one right here of four brand new games yep uh the other ones the voices work in it this one i don't know why yeah uh <laughs> still, this is fucking crazy. No voice acting. But, but genuinely, like, the idea of a backlog to me is, like, I, there's no assignment list of shit I want to do when it comes to the things that I do for fun. I'm going to I'm gonna do what I want for fun. Yeah. Same thing, Final, Final Fantasy Crisis Core. Oh, that's out. another one. It's sealed. Right? Oh. But because I don't have all these other games that I feel compelled to finish, 
I figure I, I'm, I'm fucking able to actually play and beat all these games, and I'm yeah. beating the games that I want to play. Not well, you're good at beating games too because you have you have you have dedicated time you you spend on yeah. KLBR streaming. Yeah. Uh, you also play and beat a lot of games without moving to the next one in your free time. Right. I don't do that. I I always end up moving to the next one. Well, that, and that's because tip again. I've, I've shifted into this mindset of like. I'm, don't buy it. Yet. I'm playing this game. I don't need to own God of War to know I'm going to play it later. Yeah. Um, it's going to be like right now. I think I saw somewhere that Horizon Forbidden West is coming to PS Plus at oh, some man. point for for maybe the premium members. Could be wrong, but like again, at some point that game will be a price that I look at and I go, oh shit, twenty bucks for God of War Ragnarok. Okay. Blow him a kiss. And then I'll play it. When I play it then, it'll be so exciting that I don't switch to another game. Yeah. Because I'm so engrossed by it. And so but by then the new Yakuza's coming out and then the mm -hmm. it's never ending for me. I'm fucking I'm still looking at uh like uh Killer Seven sitting there <laughs> sealed, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've already beaten it like eight times. But like again, that when I like a game I play it over and over. Resident Evil three I put ninety hours into. Yeah. The fucking remake that people can beat in two and a half hours or less if you're good at it like i put 90 hours into that game i put 90 plus hours into resident evil 8 which again i you just can beat in less than 10 hours if you want i seem to buy a lot of games that i know like i want to get to this but then i find my niche games which for years was phantom pain yeah um right now i'd say that would have been like cyberpunk where i put over 100 hours in yeah uh with um uh, 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 rings, what's it called? Elden Ring. I'm at like 200 hours or something. You know? Right? Like, uh, those are just games I can tell. Like, I'm going to play this for the next five years. Yeah. And, and that's And, and I'm going to ignore shit like finishing Bayo 2 yeah. <laughs> or Bayo 3. And, and, if, uh, and if it were, like, and that's, and, and that's the other thing too. It's okay to also be like, you know what? I got what I wanted out of this game. Sure, totally. Like, <laughs> yo, one that I don't know if I'll ever come back down to. Was a, oh, it's ahead of me this time. Whoa. That's crazy. That was a cool misdirect. It looks like Geo, dude. Um, the Travis Touchdown three, whatever. The yeah, fuck, yeah. That game came out on the Switch too, and it was like, yo, this is not what I thought it was gonna be either. I don't know if I'm ever getting back to that. Yeah, and then of course it, 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 they announced that it's coming to, and it has coming to PS4, uh, PS4, PS5, and Xbox. So for me, I'm like, yeah, I'm glad I waited because if I would have fucking played that shit on Switch and then it came out on a fucking next-gen console, You'd be pissed. I'd have been furious. I am kind of pissed I bought it on the Switch, honestly, because it's, it's it's not that great. <laughs> that's the other thing. Like, it's not going to run at 4K. It's not going to run in 60 frames. It's not going to run at 60 frames, and that's the bottom line, which sucks. On on even the new consoles? On the new consoles, it will. Oh, it will. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're on, the, on the Switch, it's not going to run at... 60 frames. It's, it's gonna look built like shit. for the Switch, but they're going to up it for the PS5. That's cool. Yeah, because they, they, they gave it proper releases a year later on, on Xbox Series X and S and the, uh, wait, 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 the wait. new console. So I fucking took... No, don't fucking take capture. Take a fucking lollipop. <laughs> but same thing. Wanted Dead, it's a game I'm absolutely going to play, but right now I'm in the middle of playing Sonic Frontiers. And, and then there are games like Hogwarts Legacy where it's like, oh, this is a book I'm reading. And it's sure. upper, or cyberpunk, and and it's like I'm. This is gonna be the next five years. I'll beat this when I'm, you know, like when I'm sitting down over a weekend. I'm looking for like a little thing to play. I get back into the rhythm because that's what I do. I'll like knock out a few missions, play like another ten hours Throw in cyberpunk, on. yeah, and then I'll get oversaturated and I'll move to something else. But I always want to come back. Okay, I see that. I see that. For That's sure. the other thing too. Like I, I realized when I was younger that when I started really getting into games, I'd do that. I'd start a game, I'd play oh, a third the, of it. That's that challenge mode. Uh, do that. But yeah, I'd start a game, I'd play maybe a third of it, and then I would maybe switch to another game. Yeah. And then I would play that game till about a third of it, and then I'd switch back to the other game. Totally. And that way it would keep it fresh. And sometimes it would take me like Metroid Prime took me two years to beat because there were parts that were hard. So I went and I played another game. And I'm like, man, let's play Metroid again. Pop it in. Got, oh, pass that boss. Oh, what cool. the fuck? Oh, you changed. I'm like young Cereza. Hello. What the fuck? Hey, now. This is like a uh, teenage Bayo. Can I get into that fro? Oh, never mind. Bayo Angsta. I don't know. <laughs> Jump inside the clock. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't think she understands what happened. Oh, there she goes. 
Reawaken the defeated homunculus to control the flow of time in that area. Okay, there's time manipulation. Which time? Keep in mind, temporal field is a time limit. Bayo will be trapped in her younger form. Advanced to, or well, whatever. There's a lot of tutorials. Use. What does that mean? What the fuck, dude? Am I stripper pulling? What the fuck? Whoa. Whoa. Hey now. And it All advances right. or reverses time. Interesting. Oh, okay. I can't run? Oh, it's a 10 second time limit? Wait, 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 what the fuck? What's happening? I have 10 seconds to get over there? I don't think I can make it. Not after that little stutter. What the fuck? Well, well, I couldn't make it in 10 wait. seconds if I tried. So let me try that again. Um, let's see. It's hot, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, advanced time, reverse time. What is it if I go the other direction? Oh, nothing. It drains it all the way down. Okay, what's the fastest way there? Shit. To the right, I think. Or no. Oh, and I, but I don't have my flight or my fucking speed. I think anything. if you just run, you'll be fine. Mm. I do not know. Are you ah. trying to cross something? I'm trying oh. to get over this purple bridge, but there's no way in hell. Because there's like a white thing on it. Yeah. Oh. Maybe that was just to teach you about time manipulation. And all these oozing angels keep reappearing. Oh, there's another caller. Hell Brian, do you yeah. want to pick up on our dear friend Kristen... Earth Crisis actor. Sup? Oh my goodness. Hello. Howdy. Hey, gu hey. hey guys. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. We're just fighting just... a giant uh, angel here. Just uh, I'm watching. I'm watching and I'm learning. Historically accurate angel. This thing's got like 17 eyes and mm -hmm. four legs. And... Historically accurate. <laughs> Biblically Historically, accurate. yes. I love that. <laughs> Lit lit literary. Biblically accurate. Literarily it, accurate, yeah. Uh, literary, but, instead of literally, wow. It's literarily, yeah, because the Bible is literature. Yeah. It's fiction. Can we, but. can we make that become a thing <gasps> now? It's like a witty fun joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get it. Genuinely, Perfect. the way that angels were originally conceived, I cannot believe that that was a thing. They are so fucking what, like, With all the eyes and the rings and shit? It, it, Look upon them with great fear and it's tremble. It's crazy think that that was like yeah uh you're we're an angel and we're here to help you you're here to it was help like, me it was like described as like a chariot of fire with 17 arms and five heads and yeah it was like crazy descriptions yeah here. yeah and i think that's really, really funny like i didn't even call in to talk about that but uh this is something that like i've discussed with like some friends whenever you tend to talk about that kind of shit and uh like you know how people say that when you're a kid your brain like if you see something really like fucked up that you can't process uh -huh. you you will actually yeah. see it and it'll be like something else that you understand well then sure. i wonder then uh the biblically accurate angels like it's some like some recounts of like with all the eyes and the circles and like that like if that's what they saw is that, is that what and Moses they still couldn't saw. comprehend it. Yeah. If then, that's who talked to everyone in the Old Testament. Then what can't... do you think they really, really looked like? If the circles and the eyes and all that, they were already really fucked up. But that was like how they processed it's it. It's like Jodie Foster. Or were brains just different back then? In in, uh, in contact, you know, the aliens are like, oh, we can only come <gasps> yes. to you this this form. So this is what you would uh you would recognize. This is your, how you would recognize you, this. We'll, we'll be your father. <laughs> We'll just look like your father. <laughs> well, also, angels used to be a different type of, uh, you know, they used to not be uh, nice. Nice. They were, you know, God's dirty work. You know, you got the angels out there you smiting an angel, you know the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, burning them to the ground, yeah. turning people into pillars you of you're salt. Pregnant. Yep. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, the real like... the real answer is they were, it probably, they were probably doing drugs. 
Oh, Urgot broke out and in so many of Bible these. Bible drugs were. And then, <laughs> I mean, nobody called them drugs back then. They were just herbs and oh, yeah. salves and Well, whatever. also, um, you know, uh, late frosts and things with their crops would Ow. bring on Urgot poisoning. And yeah. they would mm. all hallucinate oh, because yeah. of, like, moldy bread. And You're stuff. right. There's also that. You know? So yeah, and who the knows? They're, of, like, the whole village they're making just, like, beer. Laughing. They're brewing wine and beer, you know, without instructions. They didn't have YouTube back then. They're probably yeah. probably making all kinds of weird shit in the in the uh, beer was the a total still. accident. It was. Beer was an accident because it was uh, they were keeping like what the hops in like the big barrels that didn't have lids, and then it rained, and then they were like, "Well, you we can't fucking waste it now." Really, and then they it were was just an like, accident. Hey, that works. This rules. I think most things. Yeah, are like I. I know penicillin. Yeah, most, too, right? most of the best things are accidents. Safety glasses and accidents. <laughs> like me and my sister. No, just kidding. I was going to say, just like me, I was at my parents' wedding. We, we, that's, <laughs> you know, you know. We, I wasn't expected, but we I, take the easy I, jokes. I don't think that's an accident. It's all beautiful. Um, okay, so I have a couple things, because, like, I remember probably, like, three or four weeks back, you guys were talking about, yeah, like, we haven't spoken. malls, like, shopping malls. Yeah. yeah. I know, and, like, I called in that night, but, like, I called in too late. There was, like, someone already ahead of me. And I was like, it's cool. But, like, I really have a lot of thoughts and opinions on mall culture in, like, the early 2000s. I was just thinking and about then, this like, today. And like, when I worked at a mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking Ugh, about this like, today because I, I went to the mall that I worked at as a kid. And I, when I was there driving there today, I was just thinking about, like, media influenced me to want a mall job mm -hmm. as a teenager because yep. media made it look so cool. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, um, Mall Honestly, Rats. Yeah. I wanted to work at a record store forever because of Empire Records. <laughs> uh -huh. like, I remember seeing that movie like before I, I ever movie. even like kissed a guy, like before any of that. Like I, I was just like a a weird 13 year old and I saw Empire Records and I was like this looks like the coolest thing ever even though like everyone's worlds were like falling down around them yeah that we was, don't notice, like, we Mark don't notice was, that part yeah, <laughs> yeah no Mark was my favorite obviously like, the part with Guar like that I, like, I was just like wow this is really cool now, I and, should like, rewatch that as I got older I bet that movie's yeah. like cringy oh, as fuck now but no it's probably funnier uh, now. At, it, at the time yeah. I like it I still like it honestly like, there's some movies way. that don't hold yeah like I think the romance like I'm gonna go away to college and all that kind of stuff and like Liv Tyler's character being like melodramatic like wanting to go on like go down on like um fuck what's his name oh my god the record it's exec Rex Manning day god, yeah I Rex Manning that. she wanted to go down on him using ranch dressing uh sorry <laughs> if this is spoilers for anyone in the chat this movie's like how fucking old yeah like, it's a 90s that whole scene was really cringe see I don't think um, that I, I, I think those are such great well, oh, I okay, I guess it. cringe to me is it is derogatory, but I don't think it, I don't think it's actually always used that way, because uh, that is exact. It's like the right kind of cringe. You say that now, and I'm like, that's so funny that they put that in a movie. Yeah. Because I remember yeah. being like that and having friends who were like, yeah, I just wanna I wanna date an older person, or yeah, I'm I'm doing this, Dude, or do you ever... before we go to college, let's do a pact. And hey, get your girlfriend to give you a BJ with an Altoid. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, dude, you gotta get a blowjob during a movie. You gotta and then try. Like Deb with like her shaved head, and the she was just like, <laughs> they were like, if you if you want to die so bad, we're just gonna hold like a funeral for you. So did, like that whole scene was actually awesome. Did you but... want to work in a record store in a mall? I actually don't know. Um, I think I wanted to work in an independent one because I know that one was like a standalone. I just wanted to work at a record store. Um, years later, I would become uh, friends with uh, someone who actually owned like one of the only punk record stores, like in Virginia Beach. Um, like that's where everyone would go, like you know, waste their tip money from you know working at coffee shops or whatever. We play like N64 games. Oh, they have cool. shows there and shit. And like when you become friends with the person who owns it, then you hear about like the not so fun parts, oh, like yeah. the bills and the fact that like just like distribution shit and like. Oh god, like I felt so bad. But he always had his two pugs with him and like This guy I don't sounds know, like a cool like... record store owner. Yeah, really. This bayonetta yeah, he we're seeing own a store looks cool anymore. too. There's like a third bayonetta just showed up in the game, Kristen, that is She looks like Fortnite. Yeah, she looks like, like spring uh, bayonetta. <laughs> Easter <laughs> bayonetta. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, she turned into her spider form. Okay. Hello. She got abs and she got an eight pack and eight legs. The the <laughs> 
The breasts don't count as nine and ten of the ten pack. Nah. Really? Hey guys. They're a muscle. Yeah, but they're not That's... part of your abs. I don't know. I I think it should be it's a ten. It's your whole front part. <gasps> they, they can hurt. They they have feelings. They should be part of the pack. <laughs> <laughs> they have feelings. They can hurt. Yes, they can. I mean, they yes. can. They do Thank get you. tender and but, they uh, do get sore. But yeah, we watched yes. this mall documentary that we fell in love with called Jasper Mall. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. need to watch that still. Whoa, oh, I get to play I as her. Actually... Yo, she's got fucking right rollerblades. Yo, Yo. Oh, Spider-Man, Spider rollerblade shit. She's What's like a Y2K fuck? Bayonetta Spider. Like I'm loving this look. This chick is awesome. Yeah. The spider's a little scary just because I am scared of spiders, but this is a like, good she's spider. Cool she's, this, like, she's, she's an umbra. She's spider. a hot. Yeah. She's a hot girl. Yeah. But, wow. um, oh, we can hear her again. Yeah, so you were talking about that documentary. Yeah. Did the voice come back? Well, it just in-game. I have in -game. Game. just so I don't hear. Uh, uh, um, but there's this one that's on Amazon. And Amazon Prime, like, there's a lot of excellent documentaries on yes. there. Like, real, like, sleeper hits, I think. Like, yeah. just, there's one called At the Drive-In. And it's about um, a drive-in movie theater that is you know like obviously oh. before covid they were going the way of the buffalo right and then like so this is just just kind of like follows a year in the life of them and like you know it's it just seems so cool because like you can tell people's hearts are in it and like they're trying to raise money to get like a digital projector because like movies uh, aren't being released like yeah. on film anymore and it's like digital releases yeah and like they gotta upgrade all their equipment it's oh god it's so Fucking heartwarming. It's, like honestly, I highly called? recommend it to anyone. At the drive-in. Drive not I not yeah, to be confused with the band. Ex I was just gonna say, like, I want to make sure that I'm not like confusing it with the band, but I'm pretty sure it is called At the Drive-in. Who's um, the 14s? And what was the other one? I think Netflix had a couple of really good ones, like music ones. Um, oh like, yeah, Taylor uh, Swift. Repeti the Reputation. Wrecking Crew. Y'all ever watch? <laughs> What's what? Wrecking Crew about? Is that a documentary? It, it is, Wrecking but I don't want to Wrecking Crew is about, like, all of, like, the backup... Oh, no. <laughs> um, Wrecking Crew is about, like, all of the hired guns that played on records, like, uh, the, the famous bass line for uh, Glenn Campbell's uh, Wichita Lineman. Is oh. Glenn Campbell? Did I get that wrong? I don't know. Like, like uh. that. Like, just, like, famous, famous, like, I studio would love musicians, that. basically. Wrecking, they don't get Wrecking any recognition. Crew. And they interview the these crew, musicians. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Uh huh. It's phenomenal. It's it's so good because like you know again a lot of these people this is what they do for a living. Yeah. It's just like you know sit Session there and musicians. record that stuff. They don't yeah. exactly, and they don't go on the road. They don't have the glitz and the glamour. They're not actually in the band, but like they have made some of the most iconic, most memorable, beautiful sounds because they're immersed in that studio life. Yes. I remember the first time I watched it, like, I got, like, oddly emotional, Fuck. like, oh, it's so good. Um, but yeah, anyways, what were you saying, Brian, about Taylor Swift? Yeah, Taylor Swift has, uh, has a, a documentary. documentary. Well, uh, it, it, one is a documentary. Is that worth, I mean, you like Taylor Swift, but is that something, like, I would enjoy? Yeah. Because I, 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 I don't really follow her well, career the, at all. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just always interesting to, to see at least the proposed human side of somebody. Sure, um, yeah, yeah. Like, you know that when the camera's on, people are always going to be different. But, yeah. Um, but there's also still a level of, like, okay, no, this is just a camera crew following them around. Um, I forgot what it was called. Reputation was the tour that they posted on Netflix, which is really fun, too. It's just a two-hour okay. Concert, uh, no, you would not like that necessarily. Yeah, there, there was a Bowie one I really liked that I told you about. That was oh, just, yeah. just uh, it was a Bowie documentary just about the last three albums. Yeah, I gotta check that out. Um, that actually. Sounds oh cool. my god! Yeah, the no, that sounds over. awesome. I posted a link in the chat, by the way, for the uh, trailer for Wrecking Crew. But I like watching those musician documentaries. Like I remember, like I mean, I've always loved Gaga, but I remember when her documentary dropped on Netflix. Like, it was a big deal. And, like, you got to see that side of Gaga that, like, you know, is it's not glamorous being in pain all the time. Oh, uh, um, exactly. Yeah, like, I remember, like, just, like, sitting on the couch, like, wrapped. Like, she's she's short, and she's, you know, but she's so powerful. Like, I love that. <laughs> yeah. We I think forget pop that. star documentaries, 
Mm-hmm. Oh, we forget that these people are are, are performers. Like, I, I tell I, I tell Jasmine like when I get off the shows that I do, whether ah, it's fuck. KLBR or this, I can go home and just go to sleep. But get like, up. when I do two shifts in a day, where I stream in the morning on Tuesdays and then do a stream at the evening, um, same thing on Wednesdays. Like that two hour break in between those streams is the most valuable time for me. Yeah, where you just can like shut down exactly not uh, talk yeah anymore like yeah. hey i've been talking for four hours into a camera like i need to just not talk <laughs> yeah four hours talking playing a game trying to keep like uh you know uh a show running and, and like and that's just me doing a show by myself imagine having the pop star mentality of not only do you need to do this show, you need to remember your choreographed spots. You need to, you know, do this. Oh, you have radio check, press in the morning. Radio, exactly. All the press. You have a meeting with a record exec that isn't going to go anywhere, but you still have to show up to this party and show face or something. You know, like yeah. It's... My eyes just glazed over even thinking about doing five of those things at once. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That so that's so why when Britney Spears gets fucked up and shaves their head, it's because, <laughs> hey man, like. I need to oh, be. The there are times like I was driving here. And I'm like, there needs to be like three days uh, coming up soon where I don't fucking talk to anybody, because I'm I've been bouncing around doing things, busy every other yeah. week, uh, wedding, event, this, that, the third, Mario, Mario, dudes. It's like, yeah, they're all fun, but like you have to be present, and sometimes I just need to just not be anywhere, <laughs> just except for the couch all day. And playing Sonic or some fucking video game that I don't have to like think too hard about, totally. uh, or watching movies all afternoon. Like, yeah, you gotta have balance with that stuff, man. I mean, like I've been busting my ass to get ready for this uh, awesome Mob G that we're gonna have another uh, Mega Sixty Four Olympic yeah. War Games. Dude, Garrett, but I've already I'm got so... the candle that I'm going to burn for you. Oh, thank you. Because I did that. Yes. That helped that was me. like a running joke in the chat, and honestly, now I'm just like, well, I guess I fucking have to do it now. So thank you, thank you for burning, keeping the candle burning. The other one, I, I yes. er, Earth Crisis Earth. actor. Uh, I, I appreciate it. You yes. did really influence the game. I feel like uh, yes, oh yes, absolutely. I'm so <laughs> powerful. Well, there's gonna be money My, on the uh, line again this year, so I mean, I'm I'm gift excited. Cards or... What's that? Gift cards again? The yeah, Amazon. typically Was it that's Amazon what we last do. Time? Yes. I think that's the easiest way to give away a, a gift like that is do some gift cards. We Got did Amazon last time. I think it's, I think it's going to be the same. But you know, the fan favorite to win is Derek because he's vowed again this year to give his winnings to the audience. He oh he had this plan last year and it didn't happen. But he has said again like. If I win the thousand dollars or whatever it is, you guys at home, you send me stuff on your wish list. I'm getting this stuff for you, and like that's how he's playing it. Oh, so he I is mean, definitely the fan favorite. He was last year as well. See, I want to root for him Where too. Like, fucking... if you don't make it, I think there was what it was the year before that. Because what? Yeah. This will be the third one. This will be the third uh, Mob G. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and so, like, the one where, like, he made it to the end, like, of course I, like, I want to root for him because, like, he's, okay, <laughs> this is, this sounds so fucking weird for me to say this, but, like, he's an only child, and you know what? It's difficult. I'm an only child as well. It's difficult to get good at board games as an only child because you can only convince your parents so many fucking times That's to true. play the same games. That's true. And so, like, his dedication to the whole thing, like, I saw people in the chat being like, oh, well, he did research, da 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 I'm just like... Well, how else are you supposed to fucking do it? We could have all so done... Like, re Dude, I'll tell you what. Sean sat in here for hours playing Pop Goes Perfection. Yeah. And, oh, and when it was his turn to play, <laughs> guess what, man? I mean, he picked up and put those pieces all in faster than anyone else. I sat around for hours, and I spent my time learning the condoma. The, the, oh, the buck, yeah, the cup ball. The cup ball thing, right? you know? So... The, yeah. Each of us did a little practicing, I will say. You know, I, I wouldn't say that's cheating, but Derek definitely. I don't yeah. think it's cheating at all. I mean, athletes have to also train and and research, absolutely, absolutely. Who fucking knows all the rules to curling? It's an Olympic sport. Like True. nobody is born with that knowledge. So no. <laughs> well, some Canadians well, are just born. I, I love I love this funny idea that people have that like <laughs> being prepared is somehow cheating. 
It's like oh, you... in the in the last uh, Christmas cast, yeah, we had the gelt toss where we tossed the gelt coins into the <laughs> funnels. Yeah, I told everyone like before the show started, hey, get your practice in. I if if anything requires skill, it's this game. If you want, here's 50 extra coins we're not using. Let's practice. And yeah. Like, I got everyone who wanted to participate, like, standing around practicing. Yeah. It's See? And same. that's good. That's how you get a good competition going. Yes. Because if someone's, like, clearly shit at it, then you're just kind of like, oh, whatever. Like, they're just, like, wasting your time. Because it's also a show. So it's like, you know, it could be funny. But, I mean, like, if nobody's that good at it, it's kind of like sports like I'm not athletic by any means but I do like watching sports because like watching someone perform at their peak like yeah, ability yeah. is impressive mm -hmm. and just like it's it's exhilarating to watch like yeah. it's just it's a fun show to watch and so like absolutely they are performers in like the same I don't way. understand how y'all could like focus on anything with like something full of food like that though so Dude, I mean that's that's one thing that's that people would to me. I, people wouldn't get that when they when they would ask me back when I did uh, the the traditional Christmas casts. People oh, were like, "How the, the how the hell do you eat so much?" And I'm like, "Because for two weeks before the Christmas cast, I prepare. I prepare by stretching my stomach for two weeks straight, fourteen days straight. So by the time I'm sitting there eating, you know, a, uh, a fucking shit ton of whatever it is that I brought." It's not the fucking hardest thing in the world to do because my stomach is gigantic because I drink a two liter bottle of club soda every day as fast <laughs> as I can. Is you that really how did you prepare. Your stomach? Huh? Is that how you did it with carbonation? Uh huh. I looked it up online. The fucking no internet shit. tells you exactly what to do. <laughs> How to stretch your stomach. And I mean, back then there wasn't even a cash Googled. prize. <laughs> no, well, Ryan was just trying to eat an impressive yeah, amount of one item. And yeah, also, because that's the point of the show. Did you have some alcohol in your system too? So you were kind of like all your inhibitions would just be like... Not typically. The, the only the time so. I did was when uh, when everybody uh -huh. got scared and wouldn't let me keep drinking honey. Yeah, so yeah. I drank a bottle of wine <laughs> to finish it. Um, oh, you even did? Though, oh, even no, though I knew I would be fine. I drank half the bottle, and Ryan, like, literally called into the show. I know. It was, was like, like take Ryan, Brian to the hospital. <laughs> you have to stop, Brian. Perfect. Garrett, you shouldn't be eating this Perfect. much salt. You're going to die. No, and then when you drink after Ryan called in, and then Garrett, you just hear Garrett go, that's my best friend. <laughs> like, just, oh, God. I just love how loud the old Christmas cast was, but... The new ones are loud in yes. a different way. In a different way. I, I love that we could finally have audience back in the studio this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and other participants that were like, you know, not just the six of us. Man, it, it's it a. It does add, add a different energy. Yeah, like, it does. There's definitely a, a bigger competition. Feels a little tense when you get Doc Ryan on there. The chat's so divided. I know, I know, I know. He's great. He's yeah. our he's our well, he's, he's our best mod we've really ever nice had as guy. well. I'd like to give Doc Ryan a hand. <laughs> give Doc Ryan a round of applause. He's been modding for us in the last couple uh, months, maybe a month or two now on uh, Mega 64s account. Oh, oh. putting the polls and putting the uh, <clears throat> the stuff in the chat that we need to do. He's been helping out Johnny a ton oh, while yeah. we're live with the pre shows. Shout That's out, awesome. Doc Ryan. Yeah, no, I love the pre-shows. I love those pre-shows. Um, oh, yeah. If you don't get in but... on the pre-show, if you don't know what we're talking about, every Sunday night when we do the podcast, what? I thought I was supposed to go out there. <laughs> no, I think the camera just turned around for some reason. Every Sunday night, we go live 15 minutes early for our Prime or otherwise subscribers on Twitch. Ooh. And that's where we just talk to you guys. We have the chat open, and we're just real loose trying to figure out like hey what do you want us to talk about on the show tonight or uh what don't you want to hear you know no more avatar talk what is it what do you want <laughs> what are you guys looking for you know i have still never seen the first avatar and i don't know if i'm gonna watch the newest one oh good. and it's not that i'm avoiding it. it's <laughs> not that i'm avoiding it it's just that i think i tried to watch the first one over to friend's house and it might have been after a long day and I did fall asleep. I don't usually fall asleep during movies. I like to stay awake from movies. Yeah. But for some I reason too, I just really couldn't. And then it happens. I It's like the last movie that I've fallen asleep during in like a long time and that was like fucking years ago. Um, so I don't know if I should ever 
Like maybe I'll just keep the record going. But also, uh, talking about movies. Sure. Can I thought you wanted I, to talk about malls. Can, can, can I just... <laughs> well, kind of, because the movie theater and the mall, they, they do go hand in hand. Uh, oh, yeah? Every good mall I mean, has a movie theater. Mall. You're right. Yes, yes, and it does. And I could, I actually know like the the weird history of like my local mall, which, by the way, I think every mall now can be classified as a dead and or dying mall. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, they all have like out of the way, like because when I, hmm, they all have new type of businesses that were never existing in malls before, yeah. like airsoft Bro. shooting range and like barber shop. Yeah, tattoo parlors. Tattoo. It's like. What is Once going on Swabosky with the real Crystal estate shop. in malls? Now everyone that wasn't in a mall is suddenly like <laughs> popping up out of the blue, it well, seems. Yeah, 20 boba teas. 20 boba teas. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of boba teas. Actually, like three. Three boba teas in a one-story mall. They took our two-story mall in Virginia Beach. Get this. <laughs> like This is actually something that I'm oddly heated about. So, like, we had a carousel. She's heated. Uh, yeah. That was, like... Oh, oh yeah, I'm fucking incensed, y'all. The carousel a was a, carousel. a staple. That was like the whole, yeah. Every good mall had a carousel. The Italian carousel out of our two-story mall, no. and then like I moved away to Richmond. When I came back, now it was a one-story mall, and I was like, "The fuck did you do?" Because like the top floor is all the food court. Now the food court takes up most of the real estate downstairs, and they've got these like huge flat-screen TVs in there, and it's like, oh whoa, the weirdest fucking Upgraded, shit. It though. looks like the. No. 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 Like, it's no. horrible. It's absolute. It's like, just tear the whole thing down and start again. I don't know what to tell you. Like, they took out they took out my regular arcade back in the day, Aladdin's fucking, that was like the best one. This is in Richmond, that Virginia? Arcade. No, this is in Virginia Beach. Oh, Virginia Richmond, Beach. Rich, all of Richmond's malls are, well, Richmond has an outdoor mall that I'd never been to until I moved up there. Um, I didn't even know outdoor malls were a thing. Oh yeah, that's so a, just like a big shopping here. center, but just like big in San Diego, yeah. Pretty much all of our oh. malls, except for like two of them, right? Three, probably. San Diego County, yeah. It's probably about half and half outdoors. But uh, I mean, y'all have the weather for it though. Exactly, I heard it's that. just like gorgeous all the fucking time. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, like yeah. Virginia, we're in the middle of the eastern seaboard, so we I get will say, every I don't like kind of weather. Outdoor malls. I, I it almost don't consider an outdoor mall a real mall. It's like a half-ass mall. Really? I like an yeah, indoor you can't get the smells. mall. Those were the malls I saw in movies. You know, uh, that's the mall that they all worked at at Fast Times at Ridgemont High. You know, it was an indoor because it was mall. in California. It was an arcade. It was Ooh. the movie theater. It was the food court. That's Dawn of the Dead. It's yeah. two floors it's with your Keystone Ted. department stores on each corner. You know, it's yep. It's, it, it has to be indoor for me, but. God, and like just just the way the food court looked, like the little different stalls and everything, like ugh. yeah, man, it's so sad. It's so fucking sad, and like, uh, Our I worked in a one-story mall when I worked at Hot Topic, and like that one was questionable because it was like right by the high school that I went to, but this was like years apart. Yeah, there was a really janky arcade there. It was called like uh, Coney Island, I think, and like now there's it was just like this like big room. That was like to those basketball games, yeah, because it's all Dave and Buster's, and I yeah. feel like an old man yelling at a cloud. Like, but fuck it, I'm gonna. There's do only it anyway. round ones. They are. They're actually putting a round one in the Chula Vista Mall now. Are here. they? No yeah. tie. You know. So that's a. Yeah. That's like a. That what is the word I'm looking for? Round one is it's like, like a, a arcade bowling alley slash. Uh, some of the bigger ones have. Um, uh, karaoke as well yes okay yeah I'm, but I'm like none of the that. regular malls it, here have their old arcades anymore they yeah. all used to even like five years ago there was still an arcade at mission valley there was yeah. still an arcade in uh plaza bonita those are both gone now yeah and yeah it's like out. it really you're right Kristen. it's like just dave and buster yeah and like dave and busters is like it sucks i'm yeah it does because it it takes all the fun out of going to the arcade and wasting money on tickets just to get like yeah. shitty, like plastic things that you're gonna end up throwing away. Like Dude. they have like guitars now and like fidget spinners and stuff. And I so, mean, like go off, I guess. I but. had friends come to San Diego and they wanted to go play some games and wanted to go to an arcade. And I was like, 
All we have is Davis Buster. They're from Seattle. Okay, Seattle has mm -hmm. a fucking pinball arcade on this corner, a fighting game arcade on this corner. Seattle has like more arcades per capita in the city than like Tokyo at this point because all the hipsters that is down there. That's a beautiful thing. So yeah, I, like I was Brooklyn. telling them like, yo, we got one option. We got Dave and Buster's and they're like, you're joking, <laughs> right? I was like, no, like we we end up going there sometimes because that's the only place you can play DDR now. Or, or at a barcade. I do. You I have like see coin off That's true. Or There's, I forget about the bar. Base. The bar format. Yeah, yeah the barcade yeah. is the only other way that you you'll find an arcade, and there and and, and there it's like I forget about. So, that. so is it the cool kind of barcade where I pay twenty bucks and then I can just play whatever games I want to play? No, no, it's, it's a dollar fifty. It's a dollar a game. A game. Oh, or uh, you buy a card. A barcade here. And I'm no, like, I fuck you remember. and your card. <laughs> no, we had to pay on our tab. We paid on our tab for yeah. credits, I think. That was the other. Is what yeah. we did. That's the other barcade I found. Is you pay on They're your the tab. They're the only place I've ever played. What is it? Battle Pac-Man. It's on a huge screen, and they have like these big buttons Ooh. in front of you or something. Like, it was weird. I mean, like I played this like what two years ago. I mean, the arcade scenes, like in the Pacific Northwest, like I was talking about Seattle and also Portland and stuff, like. There's these new experiences like um, Killer Queen I played for the first time. Yeah, that game's fun. Such a fun arcade experience. And there's another one that's coming up that's like, it's only in arcades. Uh, Armed and Gelatinous, I think is what it's called. But the, there are these new experiences that are coming back because like the popularity is growing. Yeah. In certain mm -hmm. communities. Not San Diego, unfortunately. But eh, what are you going to do? I'm sure there's some yeah. small arcade but, we just don't know about it. But, uh, I mean, we're coming to the end of the show here, Chris, and I'm already at two hours, two and a half hours. Holy shit. shit. Well, Holy sheesh. shit. Gamora's season is ending, and the sin of Gamora has now smited. <laughs> Holy shit. The screen. Wow. The oh, I didn't even realize I called him during that. That's amazing. Perfect. We didn't even get to talk about it, but um, I think I'm going to be, because uh, it's free now, and there's probably a new player base for PlayStation Plus uh -huh. anyway. Evil Dead uh, has some new DLC. No. Oh boy, and I already bought that shit. You know I did. Oh, you I got did? Ruby. I haven't I'm been prestiging back in. my Kelly right now, level three. Damn, um, girl. I'm only level 139, and I keep running into people who are like level 700 somethings, and I'm yeah. just like, when? Jesus. Like, go wash your ass. Wash yeah. your ass, and like, go go give your mom a hug. I don't know, like anything. <laughs> Get off of this fucking game. And they're usually sweaty demons. Um, but yeah, whenever you're down to play, like I was telling people in the Big Dogs Discord, and I'll put the message out there now in the PPS, if you want to play and you're scared of asymmetrical game communities being toxic, because they all fucking are, oh, yeah. you can add me, and I will take you under my wing. It is cross-platform. I don't care about playing with lower levels. We can all chat on Discord. It'll be a lot of fun. I will say you were a great teammate uh, always, and uh, it's fun if you Thank play you. even with one or two people you know, and you can just mute the other assholes oh, yeah. on your team. Yeah. We were and, doing that uh, with Back for Blood. That game's so much fun with people. So boring by yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now that it's free, I think Trish got it too. So like, she wants to play. Like, yeah. we'll, we'll have to get a crew together again, Kristen. And I know it's crossplay. Stevie B's all about that. it. Oh, he's yes. got to stay up late over in the UK. There's, but. A, there's also like the Splatter Royale. That I'm still, I still haven't played it yet. Like, it's like the Battle Royale uh, for Evil Dead, and I, oh. like, I want to go into it. Like, I don't know how I want to go into it. Like, I'm almost intimidated because, like, I've just gotten really good at the regular game, and now they hand me this, and, like, <laughs> I can be infected Kelly, which is awesome. Well, it, So I don't it, fucking know. Like, it I, must play the same as the other. The controls are going to be the same. I think. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. That reading because... That was the one yeah, thing that made so, me more yeah, just, excited other than, like, new DLC characters was, like, a new game mode, that Battle Royale mode, and that'll yep. be interesting. And then Rise comes out in April, so yes. got that to look forward to. Which man? I the can't wait. Metal Gear, not Metal Gear Rise. The uh, Evil Dead Rise trailer. If yes. you watch it closely, there is a shot <laughs> of the main character holding a chainsaw. Yep. There yep. is like enough of the lore there that it's like, what is this? What is the? I'm I'm still very curious because like, yes. you know, 
it's cool because Bruce Campbell actually like he was like in the directing like he had a he had a hand in it oh, like really? he did that on Twitter he like posted the video of I have a hand because his obviously it's <laughs> oh, it's I've a funny a dad hand. joke but yeah he actually exactly I'm, um, I'm, I'm curious he though because had, like a big say in like the writing and stuff like that so I I will uh, I will see it uh, I I still can't remember if I saw the last. Evil. I think I always think I saw the that last Evil Dead remake, dude. And but I think I'm thinking of Cabin in the Woods, mm. which was a no, whole nother fun I, movie. Yes, but like honestly, so when you said that on PBS one time, then I was like, oh yeah, I did I see that one or didn't I? No, I saw it in theaters definitely. Yes. It's just I was arguing with my soon to be ex-boyfriend at the time uh, like quietly and out in the lobby so uh, that's why like my brain did that thing where it was protecting me and it blocked it because I, I like, really don't my remember friends. I was like if I saw the yeah, first exactly. uh, remake <laughs> I mean this this new remake um, I think you did I, I can't remember anything it's about it though Mia. I remember Mia there's like a it. twist but is there anyone with a chainsaw in it or do they there's no there's no ash in it Mia gets a chainsaw. Oh, she does? Okay. See, I, I don't know if I saw I think it, honestly. So. I mean, what did, didn't that come out almost 10 years ago? Yeah, at this point. Um, yeah. Yep. But yeah. I, feel, I feel like you saw it because I remember you saying. No, nah, because you know who bugged me constantly to see it and I would see it out of opposition was um, our, our dear friends uh, Bill and uh, and Steve. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dark, dark Mullet and. Uh, and uh, uh, our, our lovable friend, lovable Bill, who's been around forever. A lot of Mega 64 <laughs> friends know Bill um, and Steve. And uh, they bugged me so much to go see that Evil Dead from 2010 or whatever that I was just like never interested in it. And I think I still have not seen it. And I was conflating Cabin in the Woods every time I talked about. Isn't this one more actually horror the way they had intended it and less camp? What this new one, the, Evil Dead the, Rise? The new one? Well, Evil Dead Rise is going to be out in this summer. Yeah, that one hasn't it's, come out yet. But the the one that came out in twenty thirteen is actually scary. It's yeah. scary as hell. From like what I can remember, like it's actually like it's not you know your original trilogy. Yeah, like, it's it's definitely it's darker. Like you know Mia's you know struggling with an addiction and like there's just like a lot of like different things they're like oh maybe you know spending a weekend in a cabin like i guess to help her detox yeah i mean it looked creepy oh, as fuck that yeah, she what... did. um and yeah. i don't think i've ever like, seen she, it uh... look at how godzilla like this is i know it's great kaiju bullshit i know i i'm loving this dude speaking but, of kaiju bullshit when but the this fuck is like shin godzilla type. i'm sorry like the uh, way he's powering up is very yeah. like Ono's Godzilla, and the way the mouth opened up the mandrels. Dude, I need to see that fucking movie. Shin Godzilla? Yeah. Oh wow! I, I yeah. saw Godzilla, the the you know the one that they ultimately remade and did with uh, Millie Bobby Brown and all of those fucking no, things. No, but not the good one. But not oh, yeah. well. Hey, I yeah, had fun with was, those. Sure, those are fine. Sure, sure. That was a thing. I completely forgot about that. And I remember that's when I was still in Richmond. Oh, my God. But yeah, the, See, the, now I'm being reminded of all the movies that I've missed new out Evil on. Dead Rise has got me interested, unlike the, the 2010 remake. Um, it's got me interested, but I'm not getting my hopes up because, again, like, what is this main girl who is wielding a chainsaw? Uh, is her name going to turn out to be, like, Ashley? Like, it, it, is it going to be, like... Oh, we're keeping it close. Like, it seems like they find the book in a cabin and then they bring it to their apartment. And they the also bring recordings it. of some doctor yeah. or some professor, like, reading like it. So Professor it, Nobi? Yeah. It's, is it going to be Nobi? Is it going to be, like, That's one for I'm one? Like, I'm curious enough to go see it, but I've got no high hopes. We'll see. But I, I kind of do. I kind of do simply because, like, I... I really like the trailer. Like the trailer. Yeah, the trailer's like, good. They, they did it perfect. They did it perfect. And apparently it was like two different trailers, but I can't find anything different in like either one of them. Like, but they were both giving like, you know, funny, like dark humor moments. Like the mommies with the maggots now, like that, like the way her voice is. Um, they're using like some of that, like scary, but still funny, like from the show even, because we never, we are never going to get a season four of the show, which is a fucking tragedy. Yeah, but I feel like but, they, um, they, they, they like 
ended season three with like a kind of a they capped off the story i thought yeah but i i mean i'm just greedy and i just want more uh, you like see i, said, I never I thought we were getting the, more. the new original characters honestly this is the first time hearing that there was like supposed you know what i mean like i i kind of felt like evil dead or i'm sorry ash versus the evil dead yeah. I, I kind of thought that that went its whole course. Was there kind of more planned? I don't know if they actually you had just any want, more planned. You I wanted to that, keep going. Yeah, just because, of course, like, that's me. I just want more and more and more. But I also realized yeah. that Bruce Campbell, you know, like, he did say it was hell on his body because, like, he is older, obviously. And, like, filming that kind of, you know, all of that shit, like, he puts his all into it because, like, that's that's who he is. Like, of course, at the end of the day, like, he wants he's, to do his know, own Bruce stunts. Campbell, but really, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's phenomenal. If and anything, I, love I, it. I thought but, like uh, that those three seasons we got of Ash versus the Evil Dead really conceptualized the world that this new game that we're talking about playing uh, mm -hmm. lives in. You know, because you have Kelly and Pablo and the stuff from. The first movies and Army and of Darkness Ashley. kind of thrown in there. Yeah, it's or Amanda, great. Amanda, not Ashley. I said, no, yes. I love Amanda. And I think Cheryl. she deserved better in the show. Yep. And like, and we have Ruby now. We love yeah, Ruby. Yeah, that's the new um, DLC character. We got a, Xena Yeah, and the apparently like right now, hell yeah. And she's, but she's like in a cool suit. Like she's such a badass. I mean, she's <laughs> like a badass in the show. But like, apparently her character is like really broken right now because she's a leader. And so like her power is her aura. And so, like, whenever you have, like, oh. you know, if you play with her and, like, two warriors and a healer, like, the demons will probably rage quit just because, like, you'll be dealing, like, you're OP. horrible numbers of damage. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're broken as well because her aura obviously affects people around her. And I think it's, like, a bigger aura than the other leaders as well, but I could uh, be wrong about that. Well, she's half demon, um, so she is more powerful. That makes sense. Exactly. Like, she, ugh. Ugh, it do make sense. So you haven't played since Plaguebringer came out. No, I haven't played in so fucking long. Plaguebringers. Ugh, you you should you should Brian you should get it too. Honestly, I got other games to play. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not playing. I know you do, dude. I, Brian is not, uh, not an man. Evil Dead fan. Uh, it really is like it's it's a fun asymmetrical game. No, it's a cool game. I loved the, watching you guys play it. It's got a large player base too, <laughs> which is what you need when those yeah. games are hot. But if you don't have like real attachment to or to like Evil Dead, like a huge Evil Dead, yeah, that's the I, I have no desire to yeah. play that game. Oh really? Yeah. If it was a story based game, neat. But like I, I've played Ace in I'll games. I'll let you borrow Fistful of Boomstick. That's and, story based. And, yeah. Right, I, I oh played that god, one I could not <laughs> fucking play that. That game man. sucked. I, uh, that was the one where you had the little demon guy with you the whole time, and the one on PlayStation yeah. was better. Wasn't there also like a? Uh, uh, There's been that several. the Dreamcast one? There's been several just straight up Evil Dead games. Yeah. No, honestly, I think it's a great game, but yeah, that type of gameplay is is not for me. And it, and I appreciate watching people Fair play enough. it, but like I like story-driven oh, games. I should play one of those on the PPS. That'd be fun. The PS2 Evil Dead game where you can yeah. actually like walk around the cabin and the and the work shed. Oh in the yeah, back. you like start out in the cabin and yeah, just, like, I played that game. Kind of, that right? was it's a like fun. The top down. He was like third person, I think, if yeah. I remember. Maybe I'm thinking uh, of a different one. Was it static camera angles? Playing it, and I was like, I don't know what's going on. Like, because obviously it was past its time. Like, I was already playing it on, like, the PS4. Yeah. So For it real. did not look good. <laughs> for real. Well, Kristen, Ugh. thanks again for calling in. I love talking to you. Um, always a good time. Always thanks a good for time. for having me. We're at the end of the show. Yes, of course. Hope to see you soon, and uh, we'll see you for Mob G. That's right. The Mega 64. Absolutely. I'll be there in chat. Olympic board games. You're going to oh, be yeah. there. Lighting a candle for me. I'm not going to tell the other guys about the secret flame that is burning. On the East Coast. On the East Coast. Hell yeah. To, to keep me full of energy and, and clear-headed for the games and the physical tasks ahead. It'll be a fun time. It's going to be good. Tune thanks, in. Thanks again, Kristen. I'm excited. Take care. Thank you for having me. Of course. Anytime. Woo! Awesome. What a fucking show, bro. Ooh, we calling it a night? I mean, it's two hours and 42 minutes into the program. I've successfully slayed demonesses. Yeah. I've turned into a giant tarantula. Yep. I think there's now fucking three different bayonettas running around in this timeline. Well, one of them just got, like, killed. Yeah, you know, who cares? Easter bayonetta's dead. Yeah, we don't need springtime bayo. No. So Get that happy. pastel bullshit and 
go to hell. You fucking idiot. You want to hear the count in? There's a there's a count in if I hit play on the NPC. Is there? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I've never noticed that before. But I get you know you, you get a count tempo. in. Tempo. Tempo. Yeah. 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 Uh, metronome. That's what it's called. Yeah. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Um. Thank you again, everybody. Uh, Thank you. Remember, Mob G <laughs> is this Saturday. You're gonna want to tune in because. Brian, if you can head to the Mega 64's Twitter, there oh, are so many new items coming Wrong to shop.mega64.com. <laughs> That's right. Our store <laughs> is going to have tons of stuff on it. Uh, not only the Mob G... Uh, dr- now, my button isn't working, so I can't go to Brian's full screen. But I'm going to steal this and go... Where is it? Cams galore? Da, 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 da. Oh, the whole program X-Split is frozen. frozen. I think that's funny. Yeah, it's probably the end of the show. <laughs> Can fuck. you guys even still hear us? Uh, let's see. This is, oh, man. I... If I fucking get to the past two hour mark and I push a button on the stream deck, it just fucking yeah, freezes XSplit every we're, time. We're still going. Dude, I think you got to get rid of XSplit. This has been every week. I can't, though, because we use Streamlabs for everything else, and then it'll fuck my show up when they get on to do the PPS or Johnny TV or something else and they change my settings. Uh. I've finally been the last holdout that uses Streamlabs here in the office. So all my settings always stay the same because I'm the only one using the login. Uh. And I'll fuck myself if I go well, to the I other think, one. Well, I think that was an exploit thing, that, that it would save your settings across <sighs> things. There's there's other ways to do it, but I do like exploit. I yeah. just wish... That this problem didn't happen. But regardless, uh, we will see you guys next week. Yes. I will have to fucking manually shut the computer off so we won't have a, 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 a an outro song. Well, I'll just fucking start it right now. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Take care, everyone. Have fun. We sure do love you. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. He can't click anything. Control Alt Delete always works. See you guys tomorrow night. DJ Ennis. Yeah. Shouts out. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.